Okay, I'm gonna wait a few seconds. <laughs> a Data Witch, Caleb, Chuck Norris Bomb, Illy, Kayla, lots of. Oh, I like lots of cake, fishy, blue cool, and everyone else. Hey, Wi Fi sucks. I'm doing well. How are you? I feel like this is about to be fun. We are gonna. Okay, so first of all, I don't even know how the fuck I should introduce this. I don't know how many of you guys know about this story and this man and to how many of you I should first explain it. Let's see, let me first drop these tracks here. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, oh, yeah, who don't know, um, Quite a while back, like a year or two ago, this one guy on YouTube accused Charlie of being a Zionist Illuminati reptile person, normalizing porn. And then recently, about two weeks ago, well, you know, at the time we made fun of it, I think I brought some clips, it was funny, we talked about it for like 10 minutes, and now recently, about two weeks ago, he's come back. Thank you, Cake. Thanks for the subscription. He's come back with another video, a very long one, but... Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, it's like 50 minutes right here. And what we're gonna do is listen to it, pull some clips, because this gentleman is going to be joining us Sunday on the podcast, coming on to defend himself. Let's see, okay. Holy shit is, and how prevalent. All right, I'm gonna, let me put this into video mode. All right, here we go. Hey, Monzology. Okay, let me zoom in on this chat here real quick. Big Bean, he said that he would still come on the podcast, yes. Matt Mellon, I don't know if he's watching on the stream. We do, we have, he is on Twitter and I have DMs with him to set up the thing. So he might have seen that tweet. I don't know if he'll watch, if he'll even notice, or if he, uh, if he will even see the tweet. I can't let you walk on my keyboard. Do you want to say hi? No. Hey, baby. Oh, of course, always with the wild eyes. Hey. Mm. Okay. Go skulk around some pearly cells. So I figured, you know, if he's gonna come on, I might as well refresh my memory and pull some clips, you know, as the kids say, bring some receipts. And, you know, if he does flake on us, it's a good idea to bring some clips anyway, so we have some content. Because at this point we have promised a lot of people that this would be happening. Let's call that track Looney. Let me save the project real quick. Okay, here we go. Uh, holy shit, 86 viewers. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Andre. That's pretty cool. I also don't know why people enjoy watching me, but here we go. Okay, let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet. I have no idea what this guy's editing is like. Seems the second video is a hell of a lot louder. So maybe we can just um, normalize this one. Okay. Ah, poor. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that is loud. Okay, let's bring that way down. The great weapon that is being used. Ah, poor. The great weapon that is being used to destroy. <laughs> relationships, families, men and women. Families, and men and women. Quite a weapon. It's quite evil and being pushed everywhere. And so we're going to give an example here. Using the Name one woman who's ever destroyed her family because of her porn addiction. You guys can't hear it? We can't hear it, he says. Let me see. No, this should definitely be... The character Penguin Zoe. Uh, too low, it's a little quiet. Okay, let me turn. 
this down for myself because otherwise I'm gonna blast my ears off here. I'm not sure why it's so low for you guys. Track is, oh, that one's normal too. Oh, Jesus Christ, is that like, okay, I, I see. Who is a shill on YouTube, who is always dressed in white and black, of course. All right, is this better for you guys? Nope. His listeners into how wonderful porn is and what a great My thing bad. it is and how all our lives benefit from it. This is every day on YouTube. Popular YouTubers are doing this type of shit. So I'm going to show this YouTube community, and you're not going to allow. Well, power, power! I can't explain to you what's going on. Guidelines straight because this is important. If you can't hear me, I'm trying to protect the youth and kids from this type of of normalization of porn consumption. Have fun, and, Andre. Uh, I'm also going to get shitty drunk on stream. Doing. So um, I'm going to have yeah, to no for this shit. Who is let me pause this real quick and thank you, Rising Sake. I hate sake, I'll be honest with you. Something about sake just so goddamn smooth, it's I, I really, really hate it. Like it has no bite, and because it has no bite, yet it is still alcohol, it just it, it makes me wanna uh vomit. I don't know why. I don't know what's uh, what's wrong. Alright, so both videos are a little over an hour, so I think we have our work cut out for ourselves, you guys. Never say that I don't prepare or do any show prep for the official podcast. This is my suffering. A porn. The All great right, weapon let's take it from the top and destroy let's go. Monogamous relationships, families, men and women. Mm. It's quite a weapon. And it's quite evil. And it's being pushed mm. everywhere. And so we're going to give an example here using this character, Penguin Zo, here, um, who is a shill. Me too, Monty. On YouTube. He is a shell. Always dressed in white and black, of course, to represent the base consciousness. And uh, he is programming his listeners into how wonderful porn is. And Okay, hang on. I'll bring that because that's... Uh, I remember this. He, he was talking about Charlie always wearing white and black. On that note, I've literally never seen Charlie wear black. Who is least always in dressed in white on YouTube. Who is always dressed here. Um, who is a shell... I'm going to give an example here using this character, Penguin Zo. All right. Let's make... Wow. Uh, what was my cut key again? Fuck. I changed all my keys here. Hey, Chuck Norris. Thank you. And so we're going to give an example Penguin here Zoe. using this character, Penguin Zo. Here. Um, who is a we're black and hot ones. On YouTube. Who is always dressed in white and black, of course, to represent the base consciousness. <laughs> and here he is. What does that even mean? The base consciousness. How wonderful porn is, and what a great thing it is, and how all our lives benefit from it. This is every day on YouTube. Popular YouTubers are doing this type of shit. Okay, let's pull that first clip. Let's put these on their on track here, and let's call them clips. By the way, if any of you guys like watching or listening rather to WATP, this is pretty much my uh, workflow right here. Pulling clips. Take name. White and black shirts, base consciousness. Pretty sure I misspelled consciousness right there, but I'm not going to stick around to find out. So I'm going to show this YouTube community, <laughs> and you're not going to allow a copyright strike or a community guideline strike because this is important stuff. Parametrus Jackson's actually under the table, this type of, secretly of controlling everything with a keyboard and mouse. And uh, inform people about what they're doing. So, is it intelligible uh, yeah, to you guys no, when I talk over this dude, or should I turn him down or me up or anything? Done. And if you're not familiar with this guy, this guy is, well, he's got 3.2 million subscribers on YouTube. He's got millions of followers it's around good. the world. Okay, he puts out a tweet, it gets 100,000. Done. Hang on. And if you're not familiar with this, listen into this. I'm just going to show you how it's done. And if you're not familiar with this guy, this guy is, well, he's got 3.2 million subscribers on YouTube. He's got millions of followers. Well, he's got 3.2 million subscribers on YouTube. Uh, he's got millions of followers. This is so, uh... So old school, Charlie only had like 3.2 million subscribers back then. So this is about halfway into his channel's rise. Around the world, he puts out... I wonder when this was. Okay, so in this video it says March 16th, 2019. So, well over a year. A good time. Getting all nostalgic now. It's, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, and he plays videos, eh, so he plays um, games for a living. I have to get on it, man. I know I, I have to make you guys sub badges, emotes. Videos. They're just completely concocted, you know. And they're just, just not gotten around to it. But they're coming, don't worry. Feel free to subscribe in the meantime, though. The sexual de degeneracy. 
right? The I don't mean that as a joke. Like, I actually enjoy streaming with you guys, video games. This interacting with you guys, and I, so I don't feel like I'm gonna stop anytime soon. So, for years, I will eventually get to the attention. Um, these little fancy bits so and express like this. emotes. Let's take it away here, penguins. No, let's. The one force that ties Jesus Christ. strangers in a way they don't even realize. The one, the Did this fucking guy the great record his TV? The one force that ties it sounds like he just recorded the audio output the out of his United, TV. The one force that ties strangers to strangers. What a wonderful, wholesome, nutritious thing porn is. Eh? Nutritious. I don't think anyone has ever claimed that porn is nutritious. Has in common. Every human being. I don't know if Charlie in this particular clip is claiming that because this motherfucker recorded him so low I can't hear a thing. PP Music says, Kaya, how do you, how do we know you're not as Jewish Zionist lizard chill? Hmm. That is true. You could uh hold a crucifix in front of my face and see if I melt. Has in common. When Philip DeFranco or Philip the fucked are more aptly called Philip Philip the fucktard, more aptly called. Ah, clever. Philip the fucktard. When, when Chunk Yogurt and all these characters within the media, Zionist, New World Order shields within the media, normalize porn and the consumption of porn, they're actually committing an extreme act of evil, which is here. And, and this is the whole thing. It's like half the internet is porn. Who runs the porn industry? Look into the corporation called MindGeek. Okay. Giving me fucking homework, I will. MindGeek. Let's do it. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right and do our in a research here. So, Mind Geek. As far as I know, these guys are on Pornhub, Red Tube, you porn. Yeah. Okay. I assume this guy means that these guys are Jewish. Is that what he's trying to get in get at? Montreal, Canada. Well, Canada doesn't really sound like the world capital of the Jewish Zionist, uh, Zionists. So, for us, Antoon. Is a Canadian pornographer, so Canadian, but does it say his religion? Personal life, ba 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 ba. His brother Mark Antoon is vice president of Mind Geek. Let me see here. Do you think this guy uh, will poke into Andrew's background and over focus on that? Andrew's background. What do you mean, a? Eh? Has Andrew been in some Zionist porn or something? Is it, is there something I don't know about Andrew? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, I feel like poking into Andrew's background now that you've mentioned that. That's very suspicious. Okay, let's look up this guy. David Marmorstein Tassillo. Okay, honestly, I'm not really much of an alt-right guy, so I have no idea how you can look up whether or not somebody is Jewish. I don't know if there's a service. Hey, no, you, you can't tease me like that, eh? If you know something, put it in the chat right now. Oh, you mean that he has a Jewish background. Okay, that's... we all know that. And maybe. He may also look into my Muslim background, who knows? Okay, I'm, I'm bored of this uh, mind geek shit, so let's continue here. From what I can tell, they don't have stereotypically Jewish names other than this guy, Marmorstein, so... I'll, how about this, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that, I'm going to take some notes here, um, what to call this, video one, uh, my geek founder name is Marmor Stein, therefore, Jew evil. So what? And again, if you guys watch WATP, this is how I do the clip pulling and note taking. Which is run out of here, Montreal. It's quite, it's quite nasty. And porn is pushing all these things. One of the biggest things. Jonathan, I've not is, is um, finished CrossCode. I only got to play to once, and then black, the next time I tried to play it, we had some technical issues. Really I don't know why my capture card that there was. People into all kinds of just fucking up, but it's really crazy. I haven't gotten back to it yet. The porn industry. Um, quite, quite evil, but it's almost the same what they're doing with YouTube and Facebook and everything else. The, the normalization of, of this just confusion and degeneracy and 
turning inside out and upside down. I don't think anyone who watches porn is confused. Yeah, like, part again. like maybe if you're a teenager and you're confused about, hey, do I like women, do I like men? That, that's sort of innocent confusion, but I don't think anyone who goes to a porn site is confused about why they are there. I'm never confused as to why I'm on a porn site. Hey, motherfucker, we cannot hear this, idiot. video suggest I used to watch the same porn video for the better part of two years. I'm gonna have to manually write this fader. I say two years just to err on the side of caution. I've made it no secret that I refuse to get a haircut. I'm not sure if you can spot that behind him. <laughs> Is a character from uh, The Phantom Menace. Mm. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that character. A ki see? It is a character from the Phantom Menace, therefore, it is menacing. And the religious group that he is uh, pantomiming, I don't think it's any accident. Just like I don't okay. think any of the black and white is an All right, I got a clip that Watto is Jewish. Spot that behind him. I refuse to get a haircut. I'm not sure if you can. All right. Oh, well, God damn it, I always keep using S. That's a mistake. All right. I'm not Cut sure there. if you can spot that behind him. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Black and white is an accident. Not at all. This is, is uh, pantomiming. I don't think it's any accident. Just like I don't think any of the black and white is an accident. All right, that's a good clip right there. I don't even know how to spell a character's name. I assume it's like this. Watto. Jew. The Jews. They're everywhere. Let me make subheaders here. Clip two. Watto is a caricature of Jew of well, let's go with the name here happy merchants I assume that's his point not at all this is all part of your programming these people are Ryan it, really no this are. is not my soundboard and, and just look at the way it's like everyone I wish everyone is united everybody watches porn everybody consumes it everybody I, pro I it. promise you that if he was enjoy your program I would have buckled by now and you know rubbed it in everyone's faces about how I got the really community going and holy shit young hash brown there, there's no way YouTube would ever come in and censor thank you like this. these people are basically YouTube employees they're given, they're constantly trending. Young Hash Brown has been dropping gift subs you. since day one here. They make I appreciate it. Money. He's been now around since the Life is Strange a days. With a shitty setup, with a, a white t-shirt. Oh. This is all part of the act. Because whoa, whoa, whoa. Now this guy doesn't have to be in a shitty room with a shitty setup with a, a white t-shirt on. This is all part of the act. Because they're pantomiming what... Now, to play devil's advocate... Charlie isn't exactly poor. This is correct. He doesn't have to be in a shitty setup. But then again, I'm not exactly homeless, and you guys can see my setup, which is also kind of shitty. Um, <laughs> not to raise any suspicions. This is not part of an act. A typical sort of, you know, 20 Thank something, you, something year old gamer who's been heavily, heavily conditioned, heavily programmed might exist like. Right? It's quite devious what they're doing. Anyways. The nose when I say shitty setup, I mean is, you know, kind of just a layout. I don't think my layout is shitty. Talking about OCD as well. I don't think my audio setup is shitty at the very least. I'll vouch for that. Everything else, like, you know. Like, it's just perfectly normal for some I'm not an indoor architect. Sorry. I have depression. I have this. I have that. I have bipolar. I have, right? Attention deficit. I have this. I have that. Wait, wait, wait. What? Normalizing. Right. Come out, talk about normalizing uh, mental illness. Let's talk about your mental Not your generic, watered-down, bullshit, meaningless version of OCD. So talking about OCD as well. Uh, normalizing uh, mental illness. Let's talk about your mental illness. You see this? All these agendas coming forth. Like, it's just perfectly normal for somebody to have OCD. Well, I have OCD. I have depression. I have this. I have that. I have bipolar. I have right, attention deficit. I have this. I have that. I take pills. Normalize it. Come out, talk about it. Okay, I want the... Not your oh, let's start it there. Take this. Normalizing mental ill. My eyes are failing me, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, stick to the names. Normalizing mental illness. Now, that... I wanted to clip because this guy also seems to be one of those people who thinks that depression is either not a real thing or all you really have to do is get off the couch and such, which 
I kind of see that viewpoint and why it's tempting to just go with that as a convenient cop out to judge people. I don't know how you guys feel, for instance, about antidepressants. Because, you know, generally speaking, I'm personally against them because I feel like, you know, the overwhelming majority of people who do suffer from depression and similar conditions just, they need lifestyle changes. Maybe they need a helping hand to, you know, help them get off the couch and just get some value in their lives. But I I never wanted to be one of those borderline anti-vaxxer fox who think that brain, chem uh, brain chemistry is not a thing. Or who denies that some people out there are just simply born with something wrong in the, the, way, the way their biochemical algorithms uh, and their brain works, right? I mean, people are born with all sorts of fucked up conditions. They're born with limbs missing. They're born with arms missing. They're born with organs missing, for God's sake. They're born with holes in their hearts. It only stands to reason that some people are born with brains that simply aren't working as they should. And at that point, if there is medication that helps, it helps. It's going to help more than just telling that person, hey, suck it up. Ask this guy. Ask this guy what he thinks a real mental illness is. You know, that's a that's a good idea, actually. Ask what he thinks a real mental illness is. Matt Mellon. Oh, Matt Mellon. Okay. Um, or let's keep going. On that note, by the way, I did bump some of my girlfriend's prescription uh, amphetamines just for this evening, just to have some fun. So... Maybe I'm a little biased. But then again, if your girlfriend has access to fun drugs, it's only fair that she shares a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Where you move your car keys from the counter to the drawer because you don't like them on the counter. That's not fucking OCD, you goddamn bigot. Don't you hijack what OCD is. It's pretty funny. I had literal OCD, and one of my rituals was watching the exact same lesbian porn video for mm. the better part of two years. Watching the exact Thank same you, like, porn video for the better part of two years. So this just came out today. Hang on, let me let me read this comment Dusty just wrote. It depends, I guess. I've heard antidepressants have some pretty bad long-term side effects, though. Memory loss and such, but I know they do really help some people, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, every medication has side effects, and it's it's never good to need any medication. It doesn't matter if it helps, if it's if it makes you feel amazing they're all gonna have their downsides and at the end of the day it's it's a shame that you have to use them but like i said i feel in my opinion if you have to use them if you're one of those people who genuinely have tried everything if they help you they help you man more more power to you if it helps you get out of the fucking couch uh off the couch good you know probably has quite a bit more views by now let's say 150,000. so it came out just today, we'll just refresh it here for a second. Porn. Right? Yeah. So, it's, it, it'll probably get half a million or more views, judging on how many views this guy gets. Huge influence. Gazillions. This of guy people. seems a bit in, uh, envious. Supposedly. Or is I mean, it just me? A lot of this is artificial. A lot He's of this is probably going to get a lot of views on this. Illusion that everyone's buying into this and everyone loves it. And somebody wrote a comment here. So technically, he watched gay porn for two years straight. Remember <laughs> just recently, uh, Logan Paul, go gay for a month. Hashtag, right? He was going to go gay for a month. And then, you know, the media came out and said, well, are you really doing that? Mom, well, Ryan, like uh, I said, I, you what know, are you watching, son? Me. Uh, in my opinion, you have to consider every angle, including like the opioid crisis and such in America, for instance, where doctors are just way too happy to get their commission prescribing people pills that they might not actually need. Like I said, may maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I sound like a like an asshole when I say that. In my opinion, most people just need a, you know, maybe tough love, maybe motivation, maybe a helping hand, but most people just need a kick in the butt to get their lives going. But I genuinely, I firmly believe that there's people who just, they need chemical help. Just... You know, it, it is a fucking danger to get the reliance on those, uh, on pills to only make you happy. I mean, they're, they're not supposed to be, it's not a good thing. Mom, uh, what are you watching, son? Me, uh, shows the video. Mom, to be reliant on them, I mean, to, to need them in the first place. 
I watched the same porn video for two years. Here, what's going to happen next? And you won't believe it, right? And neck then. Um, and then his Twitch account. Now, his his show is Moist Meter. Oh, yeah, neck then. So this guy's and, and slated to be on the, the show same. on Sunday, the hopefully. Same. If it doesn't yeah, flake, if he doesn't listen to this stream right now and get cold feet or get pissed off at me, which, he, which I hope he doesn't. Where you move your car keys from the counter to the drawer because you don't like them on the counter. That's not fucking OCD, you goddamn bigot. Don't you hijack what OCD actually means. I had literal OCD, and one of my rituals was watching the exact same lesbian porn video for the better part of two years. And I want to tell you what happened as a result of doing that. Now, let's go ahead and start. The video was called Nice Pair of Lesbians. Thank you, Sarah, whoever you are. For that beautiful <laughs> nice Pair of Lesbians. So how many people do you think watching this are going to search that up? So what? Remember, the video was called Nice Pair of Lesbians. Let's take a moment of silence to remember that beautiful video. Nice Pair of Lesbians. So how many people do you think watching this are going to search that up? People don't need Charlie Soap to search up lesbians. Everyone loves lesbians. Women love lesbians. Women who aren't lesbians love lesbians. Men love lesbians. Straight men love lesbians. Ardent homophobic men still seek, even if secretly, love lesbians. Everyone does, okay? And I know, yes, we're all talking about the hot kind, not the butch, you know, fucking bus cut, plate wearing, fat lesbians, but you get the... We all know what we're talking about here. Remember what I said just recently in a video where I showed I, oh, I don't remember. Here. Pornhub reveals what women are searching for on in honor of International Women's Day, which is no on that note. Let's go to this guy's channel. I want to keep that open in a tab just in case he has any interesting, um, any other interesting videos that we could pull from. The toppling of the old world, break out the bone broth, fiery but mostly peaceful, the age of blah blah blah. How about we search for? Porn. Pornhub cryptocurrency and the normalization of weaponized porn. Nothing could be more natural. Kinky Mom 3 watches 60 hours of porn films a week. How, what? How? That's not even possible. Overwatch examine. Oh. So is Overwatch now. Overwatch. Well, there are a lot. I love how he took all of the women in that game, I assume, and just made a montage here. Chicks with dicks. You know what, I wonder if this guy has like... Uh, television, movies, music, games, and most of your entertainment is programming. Supreme Lord Commander, aka Jeff C, has over seven years experience in revealing the methods of media deception that are being employed by the corporate media. Learn the truth about your entertainment. I think I'm going to take this. That's going to be a good intro to the episode. I can introduce him using that. Um, answer two episodes. It'll be 199. Quote, whoa. Wrong quote. Fuck me. From his YouTube description. All right. Okay. Let's keep going here. An affront to women to begin with, because it's it's all about anything but being a mother. Wait, be a worker, who died? Who's be a roof? activist? Be a, a Marvel, a Captain Marvel girl, but don't be a mother. Fight against men, fight against everything, because everything is working against you. But don't be a mother. Don't think of family. Zebus, I, I don't After know. Me time. Right? Your me time. Just... My me time. Time's up. Again, to, to be completely fair, if I was in his shoes and if I was deranged, I would expect that this is sort of just a, a troll trap that. You know, I'm gonna go on there and they're gonna just gang up on me, four guys against me, the entire chat and the all, entirety of the audience is gonna start making fun of me and they're just gonna laugh. And then even if I do edgewise get a word in, they're probably gonna cut it out and make me look dumb or crazy or something. So in his head, I can see that I've, we're not gonna do that. And I've to, my, to the best of my abilities, try to convey that, you know, convey some trust in us that that's not what we're gonna do. I really don't want to gang up on this guy because 
you know, that's boring. It's nobody wants to watch four guys just cackle as the guy can't get a word out edgewise and just take his words. Um, you know, cut cut him off constantly, just laugh in his face. That's not entertaining. What I want to do is actually listen to this guy. Just give him a little bit, you know, enough rope to hang himself with his ideas, which are to us entertaining and to him serious business. And so the horrible porn industry, Pornhub here reveals what women are searching for in honor, and it's unmashable, your Disney media. So of course, what are women looking for? What do you think it is, folks? Can you guess? Mm, can you? I showed can this, of you? course. Juani the Spagooter. Lesbian. Can you guess? Lesbian. All of Russia is into hentai? Hang on. Hold the, hold the fucking phone. Really? Anal, uh... Oh, fuck it, I don't want to pop out the video window here, but Ebony, lesbian, India. It's not kind of fair for all of Africa to be labeled with the, you know, saying that they're looking for Ebony. They're, these guys are literally just looking for women who look like them. That's all. I mean, this is, it's a non-label. It might as well say regular women or women who look like me or just normal women. Those guys, it, it's not that they specifically have an, uh, have an Ebony fetish that <laughs> whatever okay and i don't know what part of the planet that is but also lesbian on youtube community i hope the youtube community is not part of avocado absolutely avocado he's coming on sunday hopefully sort of new world order programming i really do i mean really porn is can definitely be racist his, chuck norris his front channel here no denying that creepy creepy sort of symbolism here symbolism for what um this is what they're doing to people yeah, similar for what plays, though? Video games. He has podcast. Ah. And Senpai noticed us. He's 33. Where they get you. And you see the amount of views. He has a... 60k. What an adorable little foretelling. Not foretelling, but what do they say? Uh, foreshadowing? Two years ago, almost two years ago, this guy noticed our podcast and now he's about to be on. 304, you know, the guy gets massive amounts. 1.6 million views, 2.9 million views. Yeah, okay. He gets a massive amount of views and doing... The amount of views, 360k, 304, you know, the guy gets massive... The best real pony up daddy. What an evil video. 1.6 million. The real green gobbler, the real Dutch glow. Evil content, evil program. The amounts: one point six million views, two point nine million views. Shiti, I'm watching. Right here, he's playing. We're about to have launch. a construct. Okay. Right there. I need to get better at explain or getting people who just joined the stream Zio up to date. Again, and again because I'm not good at it. Because I'm not really. It's pretty great. I don't know how Twitch streamers usually do it. Shiti, we're about to have a con on a conspiracy theorist on the podcast who believes that Charlie is a white supremacist. Z sorry, not a white supremacist. A Jewish supremacist, porn supremacist, Illuminati member, and I'm pulling clips from his video. That's what I'm doing right now. Yes, I know it's still on the internet. But think about this too. There's no age restriction on this. Any kid could watch this. This guy's going to give detailed descriptions of how he masturbates and the whole ritual that he would go through through <laughs> just think about this you know when i show that you know top youtube videos like shane dawson tana manjo getting up on top hey john tron thank tana you manjo, watching people fuck right in front of her and reacting to it live bgl i speak YouTube, english YouTube, german YouTube, and, and turkish fluently i really want to learn spanish spanish so, so seems super fun as a language i want to get back into that know. america you have to get back you have to get your change your description you're completely right I, I fully forgot to what does it even say god knows edit stream info well to catch a cuties viewer might not be too off base uh what the fuck would you pulling clips from whatever uh listening to conspiracy. I'm not gonna sit around here just trying to come up with a pun. Conspiracy theorist, blah, blah, blah. Done, okay. Okie dokie, you guys, and now back to business. Uh, Alan, I don't know when I'm gonna stream 
to catch a predator again maybe tonight after we're done with this if we have nothing else to do country, and yeah, if dude, that's what you guys want crazy shit i'm always down for some fucking with us to catch a predator so i'll skip ahead here he'll get into his whole description of how his whole routine what he would do how he would set himself up to watch these this lesbian video they're going to do this guy's very underground fatty he's not famous at all their assholes with their fists for your enjoyment alone uh, he let's see and they are actresses get it through your fucking skull 17 000 subscribers things to them like oh you're so hot that's so to be fair this is his second channel i believe the first one got deleted but still he's you get the idea it's not something youtuber as like the director of this video it was a really weird routine thank you pp to kind of give you a brief oversight of all of it i'm not gonna walk hansen did fall uh fall far keo but before I would watch the video, let me, up, oh, all let me turn this up a, a bit here. Ago, I'm fucking using red tube, so obviously it's a long time ago. And while it was buffering and loading, I would turn around from the video so that way I couldn't see them and they couldn't see me, obviously. And I would look at my penis until it was in in completely flaccid, entirely soft. So that way I was coming in there with like... That's kind of adorable that Charlie turned away to jack off so the girls couldn't see him. Like a clean canvas. And they were going to 100% get me from zero to hero. So All right. So he's and he's <laughs> saying in this video that for two years this is, was his sexual routine. So he's not talking about girlfriends. It's like there's no girlfriends. It's just a man in a room, uh, a black and white room. Wait, wait, what? But every wait. day going through the same routine. Yeah, but how so old is Charlie in the story? Themselves in ass blast. As a step that I would do here, in fact, I don't even remember all of them anymore. But before I would watch the video, I would cue it up as like the director of this video. It was all right. So he's and he's saying I don't think it's mentioned here, but I'm. If my memory serves me correctly, Charlie in the story is barely a tween. He's not gonna be surfing from girl to girl, Jeff. He in this I video mean, that for two years this is, was his sexual routine. She's not Yo, why is why was this fucking 13 year old getting laid instead of watching porn it's why didn't he just man. fucking fuck bitches room, like i do black and white room every day going through the same routine consuming his porn uh, relying on lesbians of all things to get off definitely not what i'm taking right there mimic this behavior people that's pretty sick so once i was certain that my yes she t i'm pulling clips for sunday remember there's no there's no so i can bring receipts or anything this is just youtube 101 there could be little kids watching this right now listening to this and then thinking well i'm gonna go and search for that video and i'm gonna get naked and watch it and shit as it would start i would say hello to the girls i'd compliment them on their beauty yes children do that Girl can't really stop herself. them and i would compliment her on how great she was doing and the other girl this is part one who this came out her, like, oh, hey, uh, you know a year and a half ago shit like that. It was after this we're gonna also go through and part two honestly, the new one I was watching during those times because yeah. i would love to see those those uh documents i'd love to see that film i think that shit would make for a really incredible case study. sj yes he agreed to come on shit was goofy as fuck and i would love to remember exactly all the shit that i would say if you like these people, you're a bad person. You, you have been mind Seek the nuts, yeah. Terrible, he, terrible people. I mean, this is a. He told me he's he's good to come on, but we'll see. Fuck is this shit? Just think about. You it. always have to expect people like this, this to is flake. Perfectly kosher for YouTube, 2019. That super. I'm, popular. I'm not relying on him being a man of his word as much as I am relying on him wanting the exposure for his own channel. So I'm hoping he will come on their channels can can put out total bullshit videos telling stories about how they stroke themselves to watching lesbians kiss each other up the butt. yes she and also yes this is how you prep for a show gotta Just bring your receipts for a second while at the same fucking time people like me can't even look at news events and examine them as they're happening we can't even discuss whether or not we think certain events went down as the corporate media is putting out but these guys can go on and they can you know, wax eloquently about their fucking depraved diabetes. I will never admit that pseudo porn fantasies, which are also thanks for the five cents. Total bullshit to begin with. There's a there's a these these characters are a dime a dozen on YouTube. They're all over YouTube. There's a gazillion of them. They do the same thing every day. They have so, story time. They're total bullshit stories. Hang on, let me rewind this because I missed it. But um, a little 
Some of you guys' usernames are so weird. A light hole that tech say? A porn star didn't just ditch us minutes before recording. I mean, we've been ditched by multiple porn stars at this point. Yesterday, a fan reached out and said that a porn star that he knows was interested in coming on, told her to get in touch. Never did. It, just, I don't know what it is about porn stars, but they are the flakiest demographic out there. If you're a porn star, no offense, but what the fuck is up with you guys? Those women cannot stick to a schedule. I'm actually surprised that they can even make, that they even show up to the porn recordings. Because they will not show up to anything else to save their lives. You know, wax eloquently about their fucking depraved sort of pseudo porn fantasy. I hope not, TP. Totally concocted, total bullshit to begin with. There's a, there's a, these, these characters. That would be awesome, Keg. YouTube. They're all over YouTube. There's a gazillion of them. They do the same thing every day. Nipples, no, this is not for the 200. Total this would be stories. episode 199, lie, like, which we're recording this Sunday. Completely concocted. And then Normal all the episode. stories are the same, where it's pushing the degeneracy, the sexual sort of degeneracy, the, the, the consumption of all the things that are really bad for you. The Who I wish. First and foremost, I love Eric. You know, the, the video game sort of addiction, the, um, the suspended childhood. The, uh, I'm sorry if I missed anything funny in that segment there. I wasn't listening to this guy. All that crap. The, all of the gaming realm is pushing this shit all the time. Would we ever have John Tron it's on? It's sure. boggling to see how evil this shit is and how prevalent it is. It, it is YouTube. There is, all let me pause this again so I don't miss anything. But at the top of my head, there's maybe like, I don't know, fucking five people on the entirety of Earth that I would personally me veto from coming on the podcast, which, you know, has never happened. None of us have ever had to veto any guest or anything. But, you know, if even one of us wasn't comfortable with a guest coming on, then we wouldn't have them on. It's... It sounds like a democratic vote, It's but it's more of a courtesy thing. And I would not be comfortable with maybe two people on this earth right now. So that's all to say that I'm pretty much down to have on it. It's really crazy. YouTube community, what the fuck is going on? I mean, seriously, if you're working for this corporation, what the fuck is going on with this shit? Can't don't you have any sort of you know feelings of 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 like wow this is not right this there's something wrong with this or have you been brought up in the rainbow unicorn sort of new world order mind control to the point where you actually stand and defend this type of of clear rainbow show, unicorn clear new world order mind control you know, raping of people's minds it's really really nasty new world order unic it's like a mnemonic or something let me see if i can new world order rainbow unicorn mind control and you know what that's our stream title right there rain fuck i already forgot it mother in the rainbow unicorn sort of new world order mind control <laughs> rainbow unicorn uh new world order mind control I like that. It's like some some sort of a fucking song uh, song type to the point where you actually stand and defend this type of of clear shilling, clear fucking keg the meds. You know, they they were great, but the come down really, wasn't really the nasty. crash wasn't afterwards. Oh, I got pretty nauseous, but overall, I, I nice experience. I it's interesting to uh, to see what amphetamines do to people. What the fuck? words and things I would say. It's, it's really, really nasty. I don't know. I don't necessarily want to see underage me jerking himself off into the webcam or anything. I could skip that part. But I at least want to see what I was saying to the girls during the, the video. Yeah, yeah, you but want to see that. Kind of yeah. Shitty, I mean, of course, there's always sometimes guests that I personally am not super duper interested into, but no, not really. I don't veto regular people that the guys want to have on because, you know, I don't have a problem with anyone, really. There's no drama with anyone. But now to tie it back to the title of the video, I watched the lesbian porn for two years. Here's what happened. What happened is... Hey, Anna. How weird it was. Thanks for subscribing. My OCD, and I started cheating on the porno by watching other videos. I did. I'll come out and say it. I fucking cheated. His Twitter is interesting, stuff. says Fabby. Uh, that's what happened. Fabby, uh, that's are you talking happened. about the Supreme Commander's Twitter? I'm not sure if I've checked it out yet. I don't need, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't show. All right, sorry. 
but I have the little DMs window open at the bottom right, and I don't want people reading you just DMs with so me. Weird through a I'll check lot, it out. Okay. A lot of effort to try and combat. Okay, give me a sec. I think I have like a little. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Blinders. So now I can click that link. Give me just one sec. It does, Jeremy, you're right. Okay. And now we can, here we go. That should work for everyone. Uh, Supreme Lord Commander has tweeted two hours ago, black LGBTQ youth. The big question is who is making these people? Answer is partially below. So you wanna take down the deep state? Start here. Uh, okay. Let's see what this is. <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, I know it's an adorable kitty, you guys. That's my way of... Sens uh, not censoring, but like hiding the screen to protect sensitive information. Netanyahu is the worst of the worst. Oh, go figure. These guys, fig these guys think that the Jew is a terrible person. Okay, I might watch that later. Bill Gates on conspiracy theories and destruction of the economy. Anyone who votes Donald Trump in 2020 should be charged with felony conspiracy to commit negligent homicide. Is that real? Ha! <laughs> I assume that's a satire account or something. Life now. Okay, this guy seems to do quite a few live streams of his uh, of his own. Life now. 9/11 anniversary plus six months of Kobe. Friday night bone broth. Maybe if we have time at the end of this, we'll check that out as well, you guys. For now, let's keep this going. Talked about that in the past. I'm not going to get into how I did that or the steps I took. But that's Nikki, the, um, the cat's name is Kara. Like Kara means dark or black in Turkish, you know, and she's all. She's an all black kitty, very beautiful black coat, all shiny, very healthy, adorable. Normalizing the consumption of porn and everybody else falling in line, just... Yeah, Equinoxa. Right? Isn't it just the best feeling to get done your homework or work or any other chores you got done? Now you can relax. Does he also believe the earth is flat? So CPP music, that's a question I would not ask him because it immediately sounds like a question you would just ask as a dunk, right? I would if you have this guy on in an interview, you know, you if you want to say it, inter straight, if you want to call it that. When I was 12. If you go, oh, so do you think the earth is flat too? I bet you think vaccines are a scam. Think about that. He's going to clam up, he's going to get defensive, and he's not going to spill the beans on all his weak my uh, insane theories, basically. So what you want to do is make these guys comfortable. When I was seven, I discovered hentai on my brother's computer, secretly used to watch them until... One day, my brother caught me. You know, they used to Martha, the I Playboy always love cat photos, so feel free to the message me them, to DM me. To buy these things, and he would, he would Thanks, have to Slips. store them somewhere, and it was all because the sons would find... That's true, Din uh, Dennis. Right? And then in the porn, the magazines, the penthouse letters, all the really sick... Either way, I, I just love the name. New World Order perversions, you know, cheating, having group sex, gay sex, all these things being... Oh, Little Siberian, pause this again. And Little Siberian, I have no doubts that Bill Gates has some nefarious uh, plans in mind and that, you know, at the end of the day, if they, if the elite could chip us all and keep a fucking eye on us and treat us like actual worker drones, they would. I know that, but to take it to the next notch, you just don't need to add the extra bits of, oh, also Bill Gates is a lizard and he's Jewish and once they chip us all, they're gonna mind control us to stand in a pentagram formation to summon satan all that shit is you don't need that okay the the fact that bill gates wants to get rid of our fucking privacy is enough of a conspiracy theory or you know enough of a concern raising theory at least you don't need to add the whole fucking and then in the hollow earth the shit the on top of it letters, all the really sick sort of perverted new world order perversions you know cheating having group sex, gay sex, all these things being... You know, Not gay sex. People ...through all the different channels that they're using. Now the porn is just everywhere, right? Where, where it used to be in your daddy's closet, now it's it's the click of a button and it's there. Yeah, I bet this guy knows all about his you daddy's closet. See in the comment section here, all these people talking about growing up on porn. 
right? Kids growing up. Oops. And um, of course, he's not a Christian. You're a Christian? Shake my head. He's no Christian. There's no fucking way he's a Christian. Ooh, Charlie? So, anyways. I missed the comments, but I assume leader, he's talking about Charlie. Well, Charlie's not a Christian. None of us are. The degeneracy that they're programming people into. Really awful stuff. I think this guy, I think you should quit. You should delete your channel and you should come back and apologize to everybody for what you're doing. But I know you won't, so fuck you. But, um, yeah. Anyways, leave me your thoughts. Uh, just leave me your yeah. Ezra, thanks for the bits. And also, that's a good idea. I will do that. Ask what he thinks about Andrew. So as far as I know, Andrew actually never succeeded. So trying to suck his own dick. I want to hear if he believes that Andrew was manipulated into doing that act, attempting that act rather, by porn. Which, by the way, is a thing that literally every boy on earth has tried. At least once. Let's not lie to ourselves. Anyways, leave me your thoughts. Uh, uh, it's pretty exhausting, you know? Because it's like, how do we fight this? You know, like, it's not like this video is going to get 1.4 million views. Right? I mean, it's probably going to get a thousand or... Nope, you know, but you're about to get a platform on Critical's channel. Sorry, Penguin Zoe's channel. exactly what's going on, but... It's pretty exhausting, you know, because it's like, how do we fight this? You know, like, it's not like this video is going to get 1.4 million views. Right? I mean, it's probably going to get a thousand or two, you know, and, and, and most people will agree because most people are going to see and, and understand exactly what's going on. But really, we need to reach these people, the people that watch these 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 fucking shills programming people. That's what uh, is scary. Um, programming people. Okay, there's our clip. Let's call it. Here's your platform. Okay. Uh, video one. Here's a platform. Now you got all of Penguin Zoe's audience to fight the programming because that's important to me him saying right there that you know how do we fight this my video is just gonna get 1000 2000 views or whatever okay now you're gonna be on the channel that you just talked about my man that gets hundreds of thousands of views the podcast episode is gonna be listened to hundreds of thousands of times and you're all yours all those eyeballs and ears all yours make your case make your points and we're not gonna talk over you or be assholes wow us that's what uh is scary um what's going on Anyways, <laughs> anna so that's actually a good idea the time to listen to this and um it, it does hurt me sometimes to to see this stuff uh, you know, like it's the daily basis you know like almost every popular youtuber that i click on or push in this shit it really bothers me it, it does a lot because it's like you know this is I think so. Uh, this is what a little dotex. But anyways, a light soul do If you can, please keep yourself. I'm just going to call you Ali from now on. Sorry if that's wrong. Call and thank you, out. Gallagher. And, and, and stand up to it. And, you know, if you want to come and support me, my Patreon link's in the description. It really helps out a lot. And if you can't do that, maybe just give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I really like your comments. I want to hear what you got to say about this. And and yeah, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna keep doing this. It's gonna be a whole series. I mean, I've okay. already done a whole bunch of videos on porn over the years, but I'm gonna <laughs> expose the whole thing, you know, because it needs to be. Done. <laughs> okay. And it ain't gonna be fun. I don't like looking at it. I don't like seeing it because I know how evil it is. It's really evil. So. And I guys, I don't like looking at porn. It's yucky. It just I have to do it for research. You see, I have to do my journalistic duty to research porn and I have to watch it. For instance, when this Penguin Zoe guy mentions lesbian porn, I had to find it, you guys. I had to watch it. It was like 26 minutes and I had to watch all of it. And just to put myself in the shoes of the young children who watched this porn, I decided to masturbate to it. And I tell you, it was, it was mind breaking and just soul crushing. All the things I do for you, I do for you. Uh, Anyways, thanks so much for taking the time to listen. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. All the best. Thank you. What is happening, good people? Jeff C here, I hope. All right, so you guys, that was Colonel Z. 
that was the first video so out of the first one we got four clips let's quickly review what those are white and black shirts okay that's where he babbles Watto is a Jew of course normalizing mental illness and what's this okay him bitching about how you know Charlie has way more viewers than he does which, you know, that's an excuse he's about to lose. Okay, so what we're about to listen to now is a video he made recently. By recently, I mean about two weeks ago. And that's how he got back on our radar. And uh, we saw this and we decided to reach out to him just for fun to see if he actually would like to come on the podcast to defend himself. But I've not actually listened to the entirety of this video yet. So this will be a first time for both of us, uh, for well, all of us, not both. What is happening, good people? Jeff C here. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Hey, did you get out of the mask, Albania? <laughs> well, this guy, he sounds way happier now. A year and a half later, have you guys noticed? Maybe he's on some uh, antidepressants finally. He sounds way more chipper. He doesn't have that depressed, oh, well, what's the point? As you can see, I'm trying to fight pornography, but what is even the point? I'm never gonna get the viewers that he has. It's kind of an uphill battle. I don't want to live anymore. And I was like, what is oh. happening, good people? Hey, you Just guys! Want to fight some porn today, yeah. kids? All right, yeah, let's man. get into it. <laughs> you had to deal with mass starts, anyway. So you remember uh, Penguin Zo? Yes, I remember Penguin no, Zo. Probably not, eh? Pro Penguin Zo. I don't. know, He's pretty popular on YouTube. Made is a video it? about me today. Mm -hmm. Or is it yesterday? It's yesterday, actually. August 29th. Okay, so he made the video yesterday. I just found out about it today. Whatever. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, he seems like he's obsessed because I made some video about him two, three years ago. I, I've it was a year and a half ago. Get over yourself. Of it. So uh, he's been searching everywhere for it, trying to find it. And um, and I looked. I did. Penguins. Oh, I By the way. The channel. I can't. Charlie's video is seven minutes. This guy takes 50 minutes to review it. That's about like a fucking ratio of... Can't find it anywhere. I suck at uh, math. I but don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Probably YouTube. Just trying to say, I think I know YouTube, which one of these two guys is obsessed videos, with the other. Like every single day I get videos taken down. And right now my main channel... Vitamin C, sense, yes. Frame by frame analysis. Yeah. That's what we do here on the I mean, Kaya or Twitch Penguin channel. Zoe doesn't know this, but... We do our like, due diligence. Like over a dozen channels. This is what they do to us when we do this type of work. You know the work that we do. You know the conspiracy theorists, of course. The people that actually believe that uh, they're lying in the media. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those people. Is that it? Yeah, we're not allowed. Why are you mimicking right now? Whose voice is this actually? Is this supposed to be a piss poor attempt at making a gay person's lisp? Is that it? Allowed to have a freedom of uh, speech or anything like that on these platforms, so they're constantly taking us out. Apparently, RFB was just taken out. That's what I heard. So uh, maybe this is a coordinated attack. Um, but anyway, a random so guy. I'm not, I know so full well the so ramifications so of having on a guy like this, and you know, eventually that just leading to probably leading to more people shitting on Charlie specifically just to get our attention, but I do want this to be a one-time thing. I'm also not interested in a YouTube drama is mind-numbing to me. I'm not, I have no interest in it. Just a one-time little thing because this guy has been on, um, has made two videos now and it is kind of interesting. It's not the usual, oh, vegan gains makes a dunk fucking video. So don't worry, I won't let it get uh, out of hand. We're not going to have fucking people like this on every other week. Um, but anyways, so Penguin so made this... What's important to me, by the way, is that this guy obviously made these videos knowing full well that he's... Not knowing, but... He didn't make these videos to get attention, you can tell, because he never expected us to even notice him, I would assume. As opposed to someone like, you know, that vegan guy on YouTube who's constantly crying about Charlie and will, will not get off his balls. When you watch that video, you can tell that, that the only reason that guy made a video about Charlie is, you know, to, just to wedge his way into the conversation and get some loose views, just some stray bullets, just to catch the fucking shrapnel viewers. Whereas this guy, he has full conviction. I mean, this guy believes this shit. He's the real deal, and he's making this video not so, you know, not to get our attention, but to actually change people's minds. And I think we just happened to catch his, you know, 
sorry, you know, just happened to notice them. Uh, a video about me today or about my video and saying how he's so desperately trying to find it and it's the craziest conspiracy theorist video of all time i guess i mean if you're a raging narcissist probably you think you're that important you're not really that important dude you're not important at all um you know to me it doesn't matter i don't really give a damn <laughs> okay hang on i'm gonna clip that but before that jonathan yeah if you have any hang-ups man like so um as some of you know, I asked on Twitter for our listeners who have bands or are or are solo artists to send me their songs for me to play on the podcast and plug them. Don't be discouraged if you, you know, if you feel like you're a smaller artist or if you're not a professional or, you know, oh, I just downloaded FL Studio and I've been noodling in it for a month. It's not up to par. Don't worry about it. I'm not running a fucking concert here, okay? Don't uh, discourage yourself, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, maybe this is a coordinated attack. Um, but anyways, so Penguin so made this uh, a video about that on these platforms. So <laughs> they're lying in the media. <laughs> yeah, those people. Yeah, we're not allowed to have a freedom of speech or anything like that on these platforms. So they're constantly taking us out. Apparently, RFB was just taken out. That's what I heard. So, Who's RFB? Does anyone know? FB. Uh, maybe this is a coordinated attack. Um, but anyways, so Penguin so made this uh, a video about me today or about my video and saying how he's so desperately trying to find it. And it's the craziest conspiracy theorist video of all time, I guess. Me too, I mean, Kyo. You're a raging narcissist, probably you think you're that important. You're not really that important, dude. You're not important at all. Um, you know. But I will come on your show, you know. Yeah, you, 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 mean, uh, you mean nothing to me, dude, but... I'll come on your show, of course. I'll come on your show for a fucking hour out of my... Do you think you're that important? You know, and saying how he's so desperately trying to find it. And it's the craziest conspiracy theorist video of all time, I guess. I mean, if you're a raging narcissist. All right, let me take that. By the way, Charlie did ask me uh, a while back if I still had the video, the first one that this guy made. Or at least a backup of the clips that I had pulled at the time. Unfortunately, I had to disappoint him. But you guys, our listeners, didn't let us down. Someone f uh, pulled this guy's video out of the depths of the Marianas Trench and found it. So whoever resurfaced this guy's first video, thank you. And saying how he's... You're not really that important, dude. You're not important at all. Um, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. I don't really give a damn. Um... Now let's clip that. You're not that important, dude. Uh, this is video two. Oops. You're not that important, dude. Just important enough to talk about for an hour. Oh, that's a big comment, little Siberian. Um, okay, I, I guess here. Just replying to someone. Um, you know, to me it doesn't matter. I don't really give a damn about people's subs. I've got Crispy, I, I, I honestly don't know. I can't really predict that. my work, by the way. Um, and featured me in his videos. So I, I do feel a bit bad. I mean, obviously people like this there. I, I don't, I wouldn't consider this guy a good person, but I feel a bit bad because I feel like he might clam up a bit and feel shy. And just overwhelmed and like you know i don't want i really i can't say this enough times i don't want this guy to get the impression that we're the cheerleader gang making fun of him i, re I really want to uh, get this guy talking about his genuine beliefs comfortably so that you know we can all have a good time laughing at them afterwards i think you're the only big time sort of youtube channel that, uh, Random? I don't uh, think so. With my I don't think this man has his face out there. Days. Now, I remember vaguely, so I'll, I'll tell you what I remember of the video. 
was uh, that Penguin Zoe has a lesbian porn hub. Apo, he will. Uh, uh, I'll pause this again, sorry. Apo, he will get shit on by the audience, I know, by our live chat for sure in the Patreon, uh, Discord channel, server, and in the comment section, I'm sure. But people like this, they thrive on it. That's why they get that martyr complex. Every single comment that is going to be left in Discord or wherever that says, what the fuck is he talking about? This guy's going to take that as a badge of pride, uh, as a badge of honor. Uh, Matt Meatloaf. What are we talking about? Okay, can you guys educate me on the ways of the Twitch jutsu? Like, how do regular Twitch streamers deal with it when they want to get new viewers caught up on what they were doing if the question has been asked several times before. Because I don't, you know, I, I feel like not answering is rude, but also I feel like it's annoying for people who have been watching since the beginning to constantly hear the same answer to the same question over and over. You just deal with it. Uh, well, that's fair. Fair enough. So Matt Meatloaf, this guy is a conspiracy theorist. He thinks Charlie is a Illuminati Zionist who is normalizing porn and corrupting the youth. And he's going to be on our show this weekend to uh, defend himself and his positions. And I'm just raw, uh, watching his videos to get an idea, refresh my memory and pull some clips so I can play them during the show. channel that uh, is uh, familiar with my work and my exposés. Now, I remember vaguely, so I'll, I'll tell you what I remember of the video, was uh, that Penguin Zoe has a lesbian okay, porn okay. hub video that- I don't mind repeating it, by the way. It's, is, that's fine. If that's the best solution, then right. and he that's cool. Goes, he went through great detail to kind of describe really some water, how he would prepare himself for his masturbation sessions, um, that he would get the video and he would get the lube and then he'd get the chair set up and then he would be right at that point and he's getting everything ready and something happened with the porn. I don't even remember what it was, but it messed up his whole masturbation porn hub sort of lesbian watching um, uh you know, masturbation sessions. Hmm. So I made the video and I the said, you know, made. probably okay. said some things that I wouldn't say today uh, because you're not allowed freedom of speech, of course. Hang on. Rather, we're kind of mocking the guy. You have to avoid the fundamental attribution error. And we're already mocking the guy. So, of course, he's going to feel attacked or see it as a vindication. Yeah. So I'll be honest, little Siberian, I don't know what fundamental attribution error means. But I think I see your point. I mean, we're already obviously, but I, I've told him this, you know, in the private DMs, I wasn't, again, I didn't try to pull the wool over this guy's uh, head or lie to him. I openly told him, look, your ideas, we believe your ideas are very silly, very silly to us and our audience. And there's going to be a lot of pushback. People are going to make fun of you, but to the best of our abilities, we're not going to gang up on you. So we're not trying to make this a thing where we just insult you and call you a dumb cunt and you know how fucking insane are you blah 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 so again i don't know if he's gonna be comfortable i don't feel like he will be but i think it'll be interesting nonetheless let's see i just came in what's happening says feet feet i am an expert in explaining things over and over don't worry and i don't mind that in a snarky way i'm in a very good mood this guy is a conspiracy we're listening to a guy who made a video about charlie He's a conspiracy theorist who believes that Charlie is a Zionist lizard, human Illuminati operative agent 007 Jew who is corrupting the youth by normalizing porn and, worst of all, the thing we all dread, lesbians. And I'm pulling clips because the guy is going to be uh, on the show. But, um that um, I said this is part of normalizing porn and that porn... <laughs> Neck then is a good idea. Just someone clip that answer and so about depopulation anytime and someone comes in here, we can just link the clip. You can also be X, Y, Z is and that's what uh, your deconstruction of the family. It's actually largely what? that um, I said this is part of normalizing porn and that porn is very evil and it's part of a deconstruction of the family. It's actually largely about depopulation penguins though. And that's what the LGBT can also be X, Y, Z is. And that's what uh, your vaccines are all about. And yeah, the feminist movement and so many other things are about depopulation because the people that actually run this world 
are obsessed with depopulating most of the planet. And that's a fact. I'm sorry. Depopulating most of the planet. So when okay. they promote degeneracy, I... they promote XYZ is, and that's what... Uh, that um, I said this is part of normalizing porn, and that porn is very evil, and it's part of a deconstruction of the family. It's actually largely about depopulation penguins, though. And that's what the LGBT can also be XYZ is, and that's what uh, your vaccines are all about. And, yeah, the feminist movement and so many other things are about depopulation because the people that actually run this world are obsessed with depopulating most of the planet. Okay. Most of the planet. Populating most of the planet. I want that clip. Depopulating the planet. This is important. This seems to be one of his main ideas. So, what did he mean? What's he talking about? Depopulating the planet. So, is this the uh, replacing the white race conspiracy theory? Is he talking about replacing mankind in general, regardless of race? Because if he's saying that, you know, depopulating most of the planet, I assume that includes uh, places this guy wouldn't want to live at, where people of color live, Brazil, Africa, the Middle East. Are those also being depopulated, or is it just white Western countries? And that's a fact. I'm sorry to break it to you. So when they promote degeneracy and they promote pornography everywhere, they're doing it because they want to break up the family, right? They don't want monogamous relationships to function. They want people to develop sorry, addictions. Alarm. And they want to normalize those addictions. And they want you to think, well, it's just perfectly normal. And I showed how a lot of the big time YouTube uh, people that they promote are constantly promoting porn, including people like Shilly D. Are you familiar with that uh, turd, um, <laughs> Penguin Zoe? Shilly D and, and others, Chunk Yogurt of the Dumb Turds, um, many others will champion porn. Very, champion very porn, clever. Even where, and they want to normalize those addictions, and they want you to think, well, it's just perfectly normal. And I showed how a lot of the big-time YouTube uh, people that they promote are constantly promoting porn, including people like Shilly D, or uh, people that they promote are constantly promoting porn, including people like Shilly D. Are you familiar with that uh, turd, um, <laughs> Penguin Zoe? Shilly D and, and others, Chunk Yogurt of the Dumb Turds, um, many others will champion porn. Champ the Dumb Turds, Shilly D, that turd. Blah, blah. This guy is such a... He. I wonder how old he is. I can't tell from the voice. Maybe you guys can, so let me know. But this guy sounds like such a fucking Facebook boomer going, Oh yeah, the fucking Demok Rats. The Rats. The Demok Rats. Or the Demon Rats. Yeah. The Washington Compost. Yeah. Shilly D. I'm going to pull that clip just to have that little boomer wordplay on my soundboard, just in case, because it. Boomer wordplay. LOL. Fake news. Hey. Yeah. I just need the bottle, baby. Okay. Thank you. No. Love you. Love you, Love you more. No. Yeah. Shut up. Champion Pornhub, even wear t-shirts saying Pornhub or you porn or whatever. And what I try to explain to people is that this all fits into this guy... what they're trying wait, wait, to wait, wait, wait. do. Champion Pornhub, even wear... Oh, sorry, guys. I, I thought I heard the cat. Um, also, let me route this. I forgot about this. The new sense. Sense is also the content. A turd, um, <laughs> penguin zoe, shilly d, hey, Marcia. Others, chunk thank you for subscribing, dumb turds. Um, many others will champion porn, champion porn hub, even wear t shirts saying porn hub or you porn or whatever. So, this guy argued in the previous video about you know, or maybe it was this video, he argued that you know, on YouTube, free speech isn't really taught, you know, it's not taken kindly, and they really don't appreciate differing views of opinions on YouTube, which is true, but then at the same time, he's bitching about people wear, uh, wearing shirts that he doesn't like. People wearing a U-porn shirt. Is it tasteless and trashy? Yes. Would I wear it? No. But 
you can't at the same time complain that you know that people are shutting down your speech and the stuff that you're doing because they don't like what you're saying and then at the same time complain that oh you're wearing a youporn shirt this shouldn't be allowed you shouldn't be allowed to wear a shirt that says porn Check fuck you porn hub even wear t-shirts saying porn hub or you porn or whatever and what thank I you nico the goats to um to people is best way to support me i don't know follow this channel to to us and keep watching evil actually because it, it's it's not just a matter of like whether you want to have kids or not or a family that's your choice or whatever right but the thing is that actually wait, because wait. It, it's it's not just a matter of like whether you want to have kids or not or a family that's your choice or whatever right but the okay. thing is that it's a, an attempt to completely demoralize and take away people's self-esteem and, and program people into and i don't think even mad walsh is this crazy pills, right the big karma sort of you know antidepressants heterometrous no i'm not editing normalize these things any They're podcast i'm just pulling clips from somebody else's video right now platforms like better help many of the aforementioned people wait, better like uh right. wait, wait, wait. but the thing is that it's a, uh, an attempt to completely demoralize and take away people's self-esteem and, and program people into addiction it's what they do same with the pills right the big karma sort of you know antidepressants and everything else that they get people they normalize these things Here we they're go, normalizing yeah. all the forms of depression they're using platforms like better help demoralize and take away people's self-esteem and, and program people into addiction it's what they do same with the pills right the big karma sort of you know antidepressants and everything else that they get people they normalize these things they're normalizing all the forms of depression they're using platforms like better help okay let's pull that clip because that ties into the him apparently not believing that depression is a real thing so um normalizing mental illness part two i suppose uh, let's see here we go Shilly d fuck me um normalizing addiction does he believe anyone would ever need medication that's what i want to know medication or even therapy so that's another thing is he against um therapy too because that's what it sounds like it doesn't just sound like he's against people being addicted to medication when he brings up a platform like better help which is as far as i understand an online therapy session over zoom or something is he against people just talking about about the problems as well or is he like a borderline scientologist who believes that psychologists are evil demons Many of the aforementioned people like uh, Shilly D, Thank you, discount. D3 and others were talking about their alleged bouts with depression. Do you believe that crap? No, okay, um, Little Siberian, I know that he means, uh, you know, I understand that he's talking about how people are getting addicted to porn, which is a real problem in my opinion. I think that is a thing that isn't talked about enough. It's a one danger of porn, you know, but it, to me, he keeps mentioning depression so much that it feels like he doesn't think that depression in and of itself is an actual thing. And that if you do feel depressed, if you do believe that you have signs of depression and you're unhappy, that it's, it's not just, you know, any other thing in your life or maybe something with your brain, brain chemistry. He seems to think that it's all because of the media. If you're depressed, it's because some, you know, it's because you've been watching porn exclusively. Have you been staring at Charlie for two hours? Atomic Brady, um, I mean, this guy has, we're watching his video right now. So whatever he edited, that's what we're watching. It's not a static. And that they're using this service called better help in which I was able to invest. I don't mind staring at Charlie, by the way, King he's a handsome Star, man. Remember? Wait, wait. And that they're using this service called BetterHelp, in which I was able to investigate and expose Keemstar, remember? Uh, I don't even know if I want to search up this little rabbit hole, because I know if Keemstar's name is dropped, it means drama, and I'm... I don't want drama, I don't care. But just to... 
Just out of curiosity, let me check real quick. Okay, good. No videos. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm sure there's a big drama about BetterHelp, but I don't know. And I showed you where it came from. Well, you're not allowed to talk about people you're not allowed to talk about, but um, we'll just say that um, much of what is on YouTube is not for good. I mean, there's so much good stuff on YouTube. Let's be honest. There's there's people... You know, let me pause. On that note, let me open up... Um, There was a website that is very anti-porn. Now, again, I'm not... I'm not a fucking pro porn coomer. Uh, not gonna rabidly defend porn. I, I just think it should be legal, but more regulated. But what was that side? The new addiction. Fight the new drug. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. This is a whole site, you guys. I don't know if this is an organization or non-for-profit i don't know who these guys are but they have a whole website dedicated to the dangers of porn might, might be able to grab something fun from here and ask supreme lord what he thinks about it people that are doing arts and i don't crafts, use google save savoy music whenever i can avoid it carpentry and you know all kinds of so it's a good question this country really needs as a libertarian i i do justify regulation in the porn industry i, I think the fact that there's so many, um, you know, you read an article of like a girl who's raped and the video of her rape is uploaded onto Pornhub and when she gets in touch with them and she emails them, they just ignore her until, this is a real story, like Pornhub ignored this girl's pleas to take down the video of her rape until she pretended to be a lawyer at which point they took it down. And apparently there's also videos of underage girls and all that shit. If you want to run a porn site, fine by me, but I think you should be under extreme scrutiny to make sure that there's no fucking rape videos, no child porn, no underage fucking porn. You you make a lot of money. You have more than enough resources to hire people to make sure that that shit doesn't happen on your platform. So that's, that's all I would say to that. I don't think it should be banned. I don't think... I disagree with people like Matt Walsh that, you know, uh, the government should... Not the government, but like even the website should have your social security number or you should have to sign in with a fucking uh, ID. I disagree with that. I just think that the actual victims, like victims of child porn, victims of rape, if you kind of just nonchalantly let those videos exist on your site, fuck you. You know, all kinds of great things, even history and all. I mean, I'm sub to all kinds of different people, not just... The conspiracy realm, right? And I've I don't know about which lot of which specific incidents you're mentioning, so Little Siberian. Really good content on YouTube, but then there's I don't know about Bang Bros. And what's the thing I'm mentioning is just a six nine. It was a Minash doing twerking. A complete nobody girl. With the she wasn't associated with anyone or anything. She was not a public person, and it was just a video of her, on, you know, uh, sexual abuse on YouTube on a daily basis. And so most of what is popular, most of what people are seeing, the music videos and whatnot, and the popular WAP. YouTube uh, celebrities are... I have to ask this guy about WAP. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right. Whatnot. And the popular YouTube celebrities Atomic Brady, are, he's uh, slated to come on on Sunday, hopefully, if all goes well. Is another example. Thoughts and, and prayers, really please. Go after these people because... They're aware of what I'm doing, and they come after me, um, and I get I get censored over and over again, right? So I got a hate speech for last time I covered Trisha Paytas, for instance, right? Um, I get hate speech for everything. I got hate speech recently for the black the gay black bird watcher, right? And I said like the gay black bird watcher watcher with the what? Karen in the in the what is it Central Park? Thank you, <laughs> enraged dog, whale. She almost choked to death. Anyways, you know, like, uh, you can't even come in and say, I don't... Stop saying Atomic, says Atomic uh, Brady. Uh, Sorry, Atomic Brady. Sort of thing. You can't even come in and say those things in, in this <laughs> this era of YouTube. So anyways, yeah, Penguin Zoe... By the way, uh, so rumor has it that at, this, at some point in this video, he starts going into genocide or something. So we'll see if that's true, how insane this guy is. Because so far, I haven't really heard anything that would get us in trouble with YouTube if we had this guy on. So far, actually, to be honest, it's extremely tame. Up to this point, 
I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but the first video, it's, an, it's entirely just, hey, you guys, but porn is bad and evil. That's it. Th you know, with random conspiracy nut job terms thrown in, like, oh, the New World Order. But that's about it. I, he isn't... I've not heard anything racist yet. Not that I recall. Maybe I missed it and I may have been talking talking about it, but I haven't heard anything genocidal or racist. It's just a boring anti-porn tirade so far. So anyways, yeah, Penguin Zoe has been obsessed with trying to find that video that cucumber. Did Hope you enjoy it. on him, uh, and so much so that he made this video yesterday and lamented that he's not able to find it. Uh, so we're going to listen into this together. We're going to um, respond to uh, what uh, Penguin Zoe says and maybe uh, offer some polite sort of education to him and his uh, flock of listeners here. So uh, let's listen in. By the way, I, I just... You know for a fact this guy has listened to Charlie and I would assume our podcast. He knows it's Penguin Zero. Just the I love the little again boomer, the petty boomer butthurt word play where Shilly P Penguin Zo. I'm gonna mispronounce your name on it on purpose because fuck you. Heh. Cream Supreme, we've not tried getting Alex Jones on the podcast because I, I assume he'd turn us down. Speaking of, this guy again did this. Stop fucking Supreme Overlord. The, oh wow, the guy uses DuckDuckGo, you guys just like me. What are the odds? This guy, stop recording your fucking TV, Jeff C. You motherfucker. I'm gonna have to turn this up again. Conspiracy theory posted about me on YouTube. It was so fucking insane. It made Alex Jones sound like Stephen Hawking. In a nutshell, it was basically a video. Oh, never mind. He went. <laughs> he went right to fucking Google. Just curious. Hype train. Penguin Zoe. Penguin Do you Zoe. believe that this is the smartest man in the world? Used to be, not anymore. He's dead. What do you mean? So, do you believe that this is the smartest man in the world? No. Serious question. <laughs> the man is dead. Doesn't doesn't Stephen Hawking have some sort of computerized voice or something? <laughs> okay, well, clearly. Uh, all right. Well, just a, just for the sake of completion here, let. <laughs> what does Stephen Hawking sound like? What? What? What is? What point are you trying to make? You want? Oh, what does Stephen Hawking sound like? Just curious. Penguin Zoe, do you believe that this is the smartest man in the world? Okay. Penguin Zoe, do you believe that this is the smartest man in the world? <laughs> Serious question. Doesn't. Doesn't Stephen Hawking have some sort of computerized voice or something? <laughs> or something. So anyways, I won't harp on that, but um, yeah, enjoy your programming. Well, all right. Stephen Hawking. Clearly, this man is on top of news, you guys. He, he keeps up with popular culture. He's aware of, you know, everything going on in today's world. So... Let's write that down. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Does he know that? Oh, Hawking's dead. I, as far as I know, Hawking's been dead for fucking years at this point. So, anyways, <laughs> I won't harp on that, but um, yeah. That is a good point. Programming. Pero met you. Accusing me of being a Zionist shill, promoting some kind of Jewish overlord agenda to control the minds of people through the normalization of interracial lesbian porn and my constant wearing of a white t-shirt. Did we miss that in the first video, you guys? As Am I and or and or is Charlie being unfair to this guy right now? I, I don't remember him bringing up interracial anything. But I'm also not going to call Charlie a liar. Maybe I was just talking over it. If so, I kind of fucked up because that would have been an important clip to pull. I also remember him uh, bringing it up, Lucidia, but I'm just not sure anymore. I guess I'll just fucking ask him when he's on. Let me go here. Discount dirty deeds, I use a 
I don't even know what the fucking brand this is. It's a mechanical one. I hate it. It's very loud. I don't like gamer keyboards. The only problem is that in Germany, you can't find for the life of you a slim lit keyboard that is QWERTY US layout. It's like impossible. It's infuriating because I, I hate this keyboard and I'm sorry that it's so loud. Um, ask about interracial. Good enough. Ask about interracial. Is this guy racist? Kind of feeling bad. I missed that clip. Was proof of the baseline consciousness that I was trying to hide. It's not bad, actually. But the, the thing is this, okay? Make this clear, because he's going to say I'm racist. Everybody knows I'm not racist. I have tons of black listeners, even Jewish listeners and all this. I have nothing against Jewish people. Zionism, though, is a different thing. And Thank you, Atomic Brady. And so wants to understand where Two months. that sort of um, mindset comes from, he should... Okay. So, this is good to know. Claims not to be racist or anti... How do you even spell Semitic? Semitic? I believe that's it. Um, has black friends, listeners, whatever the fuck he said. Semitic. All right. Because that's important because I, I you know... There's a difference between some Semitic. Okay, thank you, chat. Sorry about my illiteracy. Appreciate it. Because it's important to know the difference between whether or not this guy is like openly racist and indignant about it, or whether or not he just has a bunch of crazy fringe ideas and he gets called uh, racist for it. Uh, so let's see. Mindset comes from he should try to investigate something that the FBI just recently uh, put up on their Twitter page. Thank you, Otman Out. If you don't know this Penguin Zoe, look it up. The FBI posted a link to the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, and then a couple hours later they pulled it and offered an apology. Okay, let's look it up. FBI posts link to Protocols of the Elders of Zion. Hey, freaking dog. Hope you enjoy it. FBI tweets out protocols of learned elders of Zion. Uh, tweets linked to files of protocol, tweets historic anti-Semitic protocols, pamphlets. Okay, seems a lot of different websites corroborate at least a headline. Let's see. FBI tweets linked to, I don't know if heavy.com is reliable or how they lean politically, but let's give it a shot. FBI links, tweets linked to 117 year old anti-Semitic. Hey, wait a minute, chat. Did you guys misspell Semitic or did these guys? Are you guys sure it's S E M E? Uh oh. Calling out my chat. Um, Anti Semitic hoax prompting panic. Panic, Jesus. The FBI records Walt on Wednesday released a bureau copy of the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion, a more than 100-year-old anti-Semitic hoax document used for decades to spread lies and incite violence against Jews. When the bureau tweeted out a link to the notorious pamphlet, hundreds online reacted with panic, wondering if the FBI had been hacked or had more nefarious intentions. The FBI later on later on Wednesday said that the release was done automatically as part of the bureau's FOIA process but not before a number of apparent white supremacists magnified the document and other uses, uh, users became alarmed. The original protocols text was written in Russia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I don't see what the big deal here would be. It's It would only be natural for... Okay, you motherfuckers are fucking with me now. Now everyone's saying it's the other spelling. Um, it's only natural the FBI would have at least one copy of the protocols of the elders of zion it's a fucking notorious scam hoax document of course they have at least one copy and that copies if it did get caught in an automated algorithm yeah get uploaded what's a big fucking deal so i'm not sure what that is all about they probably have a copy of the unabombers manifesto i mean too. i imagine there's internal battles going on within the fbi and other power structures uh, <laughs> in the united states so does this guy think some intern at the FBI just went rogue and s said, you know what? I don't care what my supervisor says. I am gonna leak the protocol of the elders of Zion fucking PDF. Kidding me.
Is that really where this guy thinks the internal struggles of the FBI, uh, of the FBI are fought at? Is on You might want to take a look at Congress and, you know, the um, American Senate to see how many dual citizens there are and no representation of a small, a very small 2% of the population, and yet they have a massive amount of representation. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not Googling that. Fuck I'm you. I'm tired of this. About everything else. So it's not really a conspiracy theory. And just to put it straight, a conspiracy theory. <sighs> Things Jews are overrepresented everywhere. Common trope. Don't really have to do my research on that. Is okay. So a conspiracy, Penguin Zoo, is when. Two or more people get together in private to wow. plot out something. Got a hype train uh, emote. Fake. Thank you. They're not bull crap. They happen every day, and they happen at your local bakery and your bank and whatever else, right? So I do agree with them here. I also don't like that the word conspiracy theorist has become this sort of a derogatory term for everything now. So, so you know, if you think that maybe the banks are coordinating to fuck over their customers. Now you're being put into the same basket as someone who thinks the fucking earth is hollow. No, like conspiracies do happen, of course. You know, all like he said, this is a true statement on his part to play devil's advocate. All a conspiracy is is a couple of people coming together to say, uh, you know, to basically work together secretly. Of course that happens. But again, this guy doesn't keep it at that. It has to be the evil Jew. And people do this stuff. People conspire. The, the term conspiracy theory was a weaponized term developed by the Central Intelligence Agency back in the 1960s to deal with all the conspiracies that were revolving around the assassination of John F. Kennedy. So they wanted people to think that people that question the, the <laughs> you know, the, 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 the mainstream beast media story. They wanted to portray these people as uh, mentally unhinged and whatever else. Uh, Again, so this... conspiracies are real. They're all around you. So I don't know about that specific example he gave, but yes. So on this, I agree with them. You know, the term conspiracy theorist is, again, used these days. We all see it on fucking Twitter. You know, some guy will point out a factual statement and then the replies will be like, oh, okay, nice conspiracy theory. Are you fucking nuts? Uh, so conspiracies are real. They're all around you. Um, conspiracy theorist is a weaponized term. In fact, probably most people are. Again, though, you know, big difference between, hey, the CEO of this company conspired with his buddy in another company to fuck people over. There's a big difference between that and the Jews, you guys. Did you know Barack Obama was a Jew? Trump is a Jew. In fact, every president ever has been a Jew. Coincidence? I think not. Conspiracy theorist. If you're not a conspiracy theorist, then you're just not thinking at all because you don't think that anything could be possibly plotted or that there's any sort of... <laughs> I mean, it's like everything that's happening, the massive uh, scam. <laughs> that's happening right now. Um, Penguins, though, you, you should... Do a lot of research and you should look into event 201 which happened past october 2019 in your oh, i know little which, siberia uh, they're not a fan of his Melinda at gates all. and the world economic forum and the john hopkins school of uh, eugenics all got together and they carried out a whole pandemic scenario global pandemic is that a thing wait wait coronavirus bill and melinda gates and the world economic forum and the john hopkins school of uh, eugenics all got is that another boomer pun of his? No way the John Hopkins School of Eugenics? Oh, okay. It has to be a boomer. Just to give him the benefit of the doubt, which he doesn't deserve, I know, but... Okay. Is this what he means? Coronavirus Research, Research Center? ...got together and they carried out a whole pandemic scenario, a global pandemic, in which a coronavirus hmm. is is affecting the world, a pandemic, right? And that the biggest threat of the pandemic wasn't actually the virus itself. So they had crisis actors playing out their roles. They had all these 
Crisis actor. United Nations and take a shot, everyone. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and, and, and John Hopkins School of Economics and whatever else all coming together and they're presenting these scenarios. They actually hired crisis actors, which of course, according to YouTube and every Snopes and everyone else, doesn't exist, but crisis actors playing roles hmm. of news anchors and whatnot uh, <clears throat> talking about the actual pandemic and the outbreak. And guess what the biggest threat um, Penguin Zoe was? The biggest threat wasn't actually the virus itself. It was the infodemic. So what was the infodemic? Well, the infodemic was all the conspiracy theorists that didn't believe in the official narrative. You should have slow woke. The Melinda Gates Foundation put out. So I, I showed it. <laughs> okay. Dennis makes a good point. It, it's been, let's see, how, how far are we into this? Like five minutes into this fucking thing almost. So far, it's been the protocols of the elders of Zion, porn, the CIA, FBI. What the fuck does any of this have to do with Charlie? What does Penguin Zoe? Penguin Zoe, look at him. Look at this motherfucker. Look at his innocent face, hiding all the evils. Only he knows. The programming. The programming. It's intensifying. All right, let's see what the fuck is about. Narrative. Oh my god, we're only five minutes into this 15 minute sh thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start taking more frequent shots, and I would recommend you guys do this if Does you can Stephen afford it. Does Hawking have some sort of computerized voice or something? Oh shit! Whoops, sorry. Seems I rewinded. Narrative. Doesn't. What the fuck is? Oh, I'm retarded. My bad. I added Liu Kang. Ah shit! Now I don't know where we left off. And anyways, because you're everywhere on the world center. These are all things that you could. Ah uh, fuck. Okay, we were around here. So what was the infodemic? Well, the infodemic was okay. all the conspiracy theorists that didn't believe in the official narrative. Twinkle, you're not wrong. But I actually really, really enjoy this right now. This is fun. Uh, this is a fun back. In fact, little here and we'll just homework assignment. Google let's call it. And we'll put infodemic, right? And you'll see thousands. And BGL, thousands no, I don't think he has a mental illness. I don't think any of these people are talking about the crazy or how the infodemic is actually uh, the you know have anything wrong with their it's brains per se. I just the pandemic, they're just kind of the people that don't believe in it's just a healthy their, brain. I just they uh, I think they went down the wrong path in life and have the wrong ideas. I don't think the that there's you know itself. that they're crazy or Penguin schizophrenic Zoe, you know or this? that they're actually talking about morality pills for people that don't. Uh, Morality pills. What again? What does Charlie have to do with this, though? Corona, or I'll just put COVID. The trip. Okay, time to, time for some more research, you guys. Let's go to Charlie's channel. I want to see the videos that Charlie made about two weeks ago, around the time that this guy would have released his video. One week I was ago. an extra in the Hunger no, Games no, no. Mockingjay Part One. Oh my God! I no. know, I know, no audio. Ah. Uh, okay, videos. Okay, two weeks ago. Christmas came early. Let's see if we can find anything that sounds like morality pills or we want a battle. I don't know what that is about. Maybe. What? I need to know. Jeff C. Lord Supreme Hokage. What does Charlie have to do with Morality Pills magazine, The Conversation US. Morality Pills may be US best shot at ending the coronavirus pandemic, according to one ethicist. So they're actually thinking that they need to they're they're saying that they need to drug the population or segments of the population to make them comply. Again, to play devil's advocates, the articles he just pulled up, true story. Apparently a bunch of fucking motherfuckers thought that the way to end the pandemic was to drug people and make them more moral. Because, you know, what morality really means is when you drug people to agree with you. But again, I want to know how this ties into truly. Just remember that when you talk about conspiracy theories. Conspiracy. There's so much more with this. There's conspiracy Kleenex, theories. there's the scenarios of the future document from the Rockefeller Center. These are all things that you can readily access on the internet. And Who you're, explain the you're not wrong. It's much, you know, it takes more time to debunk bullshit Anyways, than to spew to it. Here. And for Pseudorial 
whatever the fuck your jumbled mess of a name is asking what the fuck is a morality pill it's basically what i just explained a bunch of people came together and unironically suggested that you know the only way to get you know deal with the people who don't want to wear masks or don't care about the pandemic too much is to drug them in order to make them more moral people to somehow fuck with their brain chemistry so they will be more moral the irony here i guess being that if you took that pill yourself you would realize that it's immoral to drug people to agree with you anyway back to our business here hey jack it was a narrative so unhinged it makes a hideo kojima plot look like child's play to decipher it was fucking wild and you know how people always say oh be careful what you post on the internet because it lasts forever even if you delete it well that's fucking bullshit i don't believe that anymore because the video is not on youtube anymore i checked everywhere on the world wide web every fucking cum dumpster i was perusing looking for any proof of it of Bye, its existence you know have a nice so night fucking frustrating i tried wayback machine every single reddit thread where people were talking <laughs> about it, i couldn't find anything now you gotta wonder like Charlie does this a lot before I let this guy speak. Charlie does this a lot where, you know, he'll desperately look for something every once in a while and he'll even, you know, just be desperate enough to ask me even though I I don't even know what the fuck it is that he's talking about at any given time. All he has to do, pro tip, go on Kiwi Farms. No matter what it is that you're looking for, even if it was put on the internet for half a second and then immediately deleted, I promise you some artist on Kiwi Farms has it archived. So easy let's keep now you gotta wonder like what the hell i mean this is from yesterday you're welcome Fee. and you're that obsessed do you know what a narcissist is by any chance you might want to check that out because you're not important to me at yeah. all like at all i don't really give a damn about you at all <laughs> i mean you you're like i want to check that out because you're not important to me at all like at all i don't really give a damn about you about you am i detecting a slight canadian accent Pay attention, Jets. Perk your ears. You might want to check that out because you're not important to me at all. Like at all. I don't really give a damn about you at all. I mean, you you're like not even yesterday's news. You're you're like a non-entity. You're just some douchebag with a YouTube channel that has I don't know five million plus subs. I mean, it doesn't. It's it's irrelevant. Do you know what a narcissist is by any chance? You might want to check that out because you're not important to me at all. Like at all. I don't really give a damn about you at all. So I just love this I mean, segment. You're like not even yesterday's news. You're, you're like a non-entity. You're just some douchebag with a YouTube channel that has, I don't know, 5 million plus subs. I mean, it, oh, you're a nobody. Just 5 million subscribers. Is that all? You're nobody. You're nobody. It's, it's irrelevant. I never you're think about it. You're as relevant as Groey Josepha. Who? Groey Josepha. No idea who that is. Don't even know how to spell that. I mean, you're just another. <laughs> just another. I don't know. I'm trying to be polite, anyways. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. You're about as relevant as Groey Josepha. Whatever. Okay. Let's just take that. That's a nice clip. Might actually be my favorite here. I'm gonna call it Sundere. I fucking love it. Reminder, again, you guys, we're 10, we're, I don't even know if we're 10 minutes into this guy's video, um, this guy's 15 minute video on Charlie and, you know, but, 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 Baka, I don't even care about you. You're a nobody with only 5 million subscribers. It doesn't, it's, it's irrelevant. You're about as relevant as Groey Josep. Not as relevant mm. as right. Groey Josepha. Who the fuck I is mean, Groey Josepha? Just, <laughs> just another. Isaiah, not anymore. I used I to. I'm trying to be. I want. Good. I want to get back into it. Though. I want to uh, relearn C plus plus. Upload, but not even a fucking screenshot of the thumbnail. I was so disappointed because the thumbnail was one of the best I've ever seen. It was me sitting in my chair, and it had the standard YouTuber clickbait red arrow and circle. But the big red arrow and circle was on the Watto statue that used to be behind me, and it pointed at Watto. Hey, skips. Normalizing porn. Just pulling clips. Words in Watto Feeling good. Accusing him Are of you? trying to normalize porn. Now maybe Watto. I think Watto is the uh, <clears throat> character from the Phantom Menace. You ever seen that? <laughs> it's pretty bad. 
Um, but there is a stereo. There's a lot of stereotypes in the <laughs> in in the prequels uh, themselves. Um, there's very very strong uh, stereotypes. It's quite hilarious when you look back now, and maybe if you're gonna want to subject yourself to uh, the Phantom Menace to see some of the the characters that they put. But one was you can say uh, a certain stereotype of a certain people in the Middle East, and I guess that's the Watto character that I guess I had put in the whole uh, screenshot or whatever. Why is this guy so afraid to actually use the word Jew? It's kind of interesting. He keeps pussyfooting around it. He keeps, you know, implying it. And obviously, you know, pointing his finger at that certain group of people. Why not just say it? Is it because he's worried about getting his channel taken down? Because uh, why? He earlier mentioned that that's already happened 12 times. What does he have to lose? Does he... I wonder if it's like a superstitious thing where he thinks that if he says Voldemort three times, it'll turn him into a pillar of salt or curse him. A random Jew will appear behind him. Anyways, continue. Who is trying to normalize porn? I don't know. I haven't read George Lucas's undercover scripts or anything, but the thumbnail was fucking fantastic, and I can't find any evidence of its existence anymore it only lives on in the memories and the wet dreams of people that got to see the video it's like trying to track down one of the original ten commandments or some shit i don't know why it's <laughs> hard to find but luckily i did at least find some luckily unlike charlie who's you know even if he doesn't want to admit it a boomer in spirit just like me luckily we have fans who are not retarded so people found that video look at it so we talked about this on episode 121 of the official podcast briefly, and luckily Kaya has immortalized some of the precious audio segments from the video. It's not all of it, it's not even a full minute's worth, but at least it's something from the video. He's like the Library of Alexandria's best fucking bookkeeper. He at least has Aww. some documented evidence of, it, of its existence, so we'll get to hear Aww. some of it. I'll share it with you. I hadn't heard this before. Okay, Thank I you. I wanted to talk about this because I, I wanted to go back and watch it today because yeah. I was just thinking about it out of the blue. As I'm yeah. doing the same fucking shit. So He's I went on this like, three-hour long course. Damn, you got exposed by Jeff C, man. Damn, that's a moment in fame. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the biggest moment of your life. I don't know. I'm just kidding, really. I mean, uh, it's, it is kind of silly, though. But anyways, maybe this has something to do with RFB being taken down and everybody else being taken down. Maybe they're saying, okay, now we're going to come after all Who's these people. Who's RFB? And, uh... RFB YouTube. This guy? This complete nobody, which I guess is plausible. Richie from Boston. Yeah, he's using StreamYard. I can see how this boomer would be in the fucking conspiracy YouTube verse. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Jesus. Boston. It's the 31st. It's July, and it's the year 2020. And I was supposed to do a live stream on one of my other YouTube channels. All right. I'm already over RFB here. Sorry. Keep going. Now we got to uh, um, go after Jeff C. I mean, obviously. Right, I've been hit several times over the past couple of weeks, so I'm off. My main channel is suspended. Jeff censored is suspended, but I did check for the Penguin Zoe video. It's not there. If I have it, Penguin Zoe, I'll re-upload it for you, probably on BitChute, but I'll have to find it. And I would readily admit that some of the stuff that I say was uh, probably wrong. Um, oh, but overall, the the basic sort of message of the video, like I like say for instance, was uh, some of the stuff that I readily admit that and i would readily admit that but i'll have to find him and, and i would readily admit that some of the stuff that i say was uh probably wrong um but overall the the basic sort of message of the video like i like say for instance the black and white sort of thing well whatever you know i mean you're, you're wearing a black and white sort of theme every time you do a video maybe that's just your shtick i don't know but it is so that's the thing he's not apologizing for, or rather, that's the thing he doesn't think was wrong. I said a lot of dumb, sh uh, dumb shit. Yeah, but you know, it was ridiculous, and I'm, you know, shouldn't have said that. But I think I was right about your white shirt. 
That is the deep mind control hollow earth rainbow unicorn new world order, isn't it? Is the black and white checkerboard. Look in your music videos. Look, uh, it's all over the place, right? And that is what they call base consciousness. And that deals with Freemasonry. In fact, I'll show him that because he probably... Okay. And that deals with Freemasonry. All right, let's clip that onto Freemasonry. <laughs> he was wrong. We're clipping that, you guys, because I really want to ask him what he believes he was wrong about. What was, what was he wrong about? I wanted to name each and every single thing that he believes was. Maybe he has no clue. Uh, Freemason. Hey, Bolin. Uh, Resemble. Welcome to the Illuminati. Symbol. Okay, so we'll just show you why i say that the checkerboard like yeah maybe it's just coincidental yeah for everyone who hasn't seen national These treasure are the symbols of freemasonry you see the checkerboard over here it's not coming in. whoops cut off there let me just bring this over here you just see i hate the way that google uh pay cg1 yes here so it's a good example supposedly the, he he you know, told me that he would come on and so here's hoping the uh two of course opposing pyramids the hermeticism and the star of david which is not the star of david by the way of course most people know that but these are freemasonic symbols these are uh you know like say satanic symbols and this is the new world order and this is how they code things so maybe with you it's just small burb i i just right? use it as a That's text editor shtick. whatever right and perhaps i got that wrong sure absolutely i get things wrong this adventure to try and find yeah, you do get things wrong, but, you know, everyone does. That's not the point. This guy literally just looked up Freemasonry symbols, checkerboard. It's just a fucking pattern. The Freemasons don't own it. Any more than McDonald's owns arcs. It doesn't make sense. Like the M symbol. It's like saying that McDonald's owns curves or something. So if anyone ever uses any curves in their graphic design, they must be owned by McDonald's. Perhaps I got that wrong. Sure. Absolutely. I get things wrong. Yeah, it's perhaps. No, yeah, sure. Find this ancient relic and it unfortunately no longer exists. It was an extremely racist video. The mm. person that made it is extremely racist. Uh, 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 no, that's not true at all. It's not an extremely racist video. And if I said Zionism, I am not referring to Jews. I'm referring to Zionist. There are lots of anti-Zionist Jews, uh, Penguin Zoe. There's also a ton of black people that listen to Jeff Censored. All right, so... Again, with the, I have black fans. I have black friends, you guys. Like, I'm not racist. All right, so... And they know for sure that I am not I do power power. Racist. Quite a few of them. Not part of any. I, I would never, ever in a million years endorse white supremacy or anything. Any supremacy. I'm against all. Okay, you know, I think I will give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Because as I've told you guys in the beginning, I don't want this to be devolved, uh, to devolve into those like cringe debates where, you know. I don't want this guy to come on only for us to call him racist and Nazi and fucking fascist. Why the... If he says he's against white supremacy and you know he's not racist, that he has a, he only has a problem with Zionists, not all Jews. Okay, let's start with that assumption. Let's just assume, for the sake of the arguments, that he's not bullshitting us and that he's not racist, and keep watching. I'm still curious where the genocide talk is gonna. Come. Any supremacy? I'm against all supremacy, uh, Penguin Zoe. So maybe you got that wrong. Maybe you're getting this wrong right now or yesterday or whatever it's okay we get things wrong all right you're gonna get things wrong about me i'm gonna get things wrong about you and i'll come on to your uh what was your show i can't remember what you called it but I'll come official on to your podcast show you wanna, uh, i know you guys tried to do that before but i only got no the we didn't just late so like Did what we? happened before was when i put up the video before but i want to uh i know you guys tried to do that before but i only got the messages late okay look i i don't want to make this guy out to be a liar and embarrass him, but to my knowledge, none of us messaged this guy ever. I certainly didn't. But when I did try to message him recently, I saw that he had sent me a private message on Twitter about a year ago that I apparently never replied to, but not vice versa. None of us reached out to this guy. That's, I don't, 
Sorry, Jeff, but we're going to stick to the truth here. So like what happened before was... I'm sure we joked about having you on, you know, welcoming you on to come on to defend yourself, but no private. Yes. So like what happened before was when I put up the video and I put up a video and I forget it. I go on, right? I've got way more bigger fish to fry, way more important things to discuss, but... The, I don't know, Crispy, like, but it's worth a try. After I went back to the video because I was getting all these messages. And by the way, Crispy, like, you know, somebody like this or other guests, it is, you know, if you're a public personality, you should know how to talk to others and not clam up or be awkward when you're a new company or people you don't know and, you know, not be, uh, not become uh, sort of a shut-in weirdo once you're off script. But it's also the honest... I believe that the onus is also somewhat on the hosts to make the guest comfortable, get them out of, out of their shell, make them feel comfortable enough to be able to talk openly. That's what I want to do with this guy. I'm not too optimistic about that. Messages, uh, and I got messages on Twitter and whatnot about it. And people were informing me that this guy had watched the video and ah. did a whole podcast on it. And Can someone give know, not Haroon uh, a link to one of the clips on the you guys pulled? Or something like that. And I said, sure. And I even went to the video and I left a message. But I mean, this guy gets like, it's like here, he's got uh, 7,600 plus comments on a video that he put up yesterday. Pirates King. Right. I don't know who T-Pain is, but myself, we're all sure. typically on a typical, say, Jeff, Jeff censored video. I'll get three, four, maybe five hundred comments on on a video. I can't go through them all. I'm not going to see everything. I don't have the amount of time to devote to it. So I doubt that he has the time to see this. I even put this up here. Yeah, that's me, everyone. Please come check out my channel. I'm censored right now. Wait, 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 always, wait, wait, wait. I even put this up here. Oh, you replied. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know what the resolution is for you guys. If you can read any of the text on my screen right now, but I'll read it. Jeff censored. The account is saying, yeah, that's me, everyone. Please come check out my channel. I'm censored right now, as always, so I can't post anything. I have a few backup channels where I'm uploading now. Jeff censored and Encore, Jeff C Live, and Supreme Lord Commander. I will respond to this video later. I think you should all be aware of what I'm, uh, what is going on, especially with the scamdemic. You are all welcome on my channels. Thanks, Penguin Zell. Um, okay, let's search for Jeff Sensor because I, I've not seen that YouTube channel, so maybe he has some unique content on there. Parking, I don't know who. T Pain is, sorry. Not a, I don't really watch a whole lot of YouTube. Well, this guy does have a lot of videos. Jesus Christ, he makes a lot. Holy shit. And does he have anything about Charlie here, or...? I guess not. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, that's me, everyone. Please come check out my channel. I'm censored right now, as always. Rapper. Okay. So I can't post anything. I have a few backup channels, and I tell them my backups. I think you should be aware of what's going on, especially with the Scamdemic. You are all welcome to the... Scamdemic. Uh, welcome on my channels. Uh, thanks, Penguinzo. And yes, I do Twitter better not fucking comment. hurt me. Because this guy is calling it a scamdemic. <laughs> Jesus. Hopefully, maybe people will see it and they'll come over. But the thing is, now I'm not able to use that channel. So, you know, this is the way that it goes. I'm changing my, uh, you know, stock ownership in my bet that he might flake. I don't think he's going to flake. Not after that. Not after the little revelation of uh, him leaving the comments sort of low-key, you know, desperately asking people to check out his channel and wanting exposure. I think he's going to come on just for the sake of... Have you ever been censored, Penguins, though? Probably not. You know, getting the audience. Stick to the interracial porn and the masturbation and stuff like that. Yeah. Wajiki likes that stuff. Anyways. The reason why he's probably not on YouTube anymore is probably for that reason, or he got thrown into Arkham Asylum. Mm. It was actual insanity. The whole channel was fucking nuts. And the people that were starting to congregate there... It was a weird group of people. So uh -huh. I understand why it's not there anymore, They're but I'm just Thinking shocked. people are a weird group of people. Shitty, no, not, not this much usually. Outside their box. This is because it's <sighs> humorous to me. That's I like this guy. He's, uh... This, right? I mean, it's, it, it's... I'm curious about how far this right? is gonna go. Anyways. ...that nobody has a re-upload anywhere on the internet or... By the way, don't think I will not call out Charlie. If this guy does not ever talk about genocide in this video or killing, you know, a certain race of people or any of that sort of stuff, that's on us. Then we have to apologize for that. Charlie just can't go around, you know, running his mouth on videos calling this guy racist if he never actually mentions a fucking genocide or anything. 
So we'll see. Maybe we are wrong. Maybe there is something that the official podcast has to apologize for. A screenshot who is always dressed in white and black, of course, to represent the base consciousness. Oh, this is like Inception. <laughs> I am pulling clips from a video of a guy playing me, playing clips of him. This is multiple levels of uh, research. Ah, stop clapping, you dick. Pushing all these things. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things that porn pushes is interracial. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he did talk about pushing interracial porn. So, ask about interracial. Let's change that to porn. And why is interracial porn bad? Okay, so we're not crazy, you guys. It wasn't just a fever dream. He did bring up interracial relationships. Not relationships, but you know, porn. Mm -hmm. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. White and black, which is another way to, to just really program a lot of yeah. people into all kinds of nasty yeah. things. It's really crazy what they're doing yeah. with the porn industry. Nothing wrong with any of that. <laughs> it's, it's all true. Again, there's nothing... Please get this right. There's nothing wrong with interracial relationships. There's okay. something wrong when you go to porn websites. They're all run out of Montreal, by the way, by a, a corporation called MindGeek, Penguin Zoo, if in case you're wondering. So there, there's nothing wrong with interracial relationships. Please understand this. I've been in okay. them myself, okay? So don't take the wrong sort of approach. What, what I'm saying is blacked women getting black gaping anal holes, right? Uh, water sports, uh you know, sex with auntie, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, mama and stepson, you know, uh, what you typically see or would see if you went on to Pornhub. Every, all porn is bad because all porn is designed. I mean, it, it's, it destroys intimacy. Hang on, I, I think you guys are missing this point. Hang on, it give hurts. Me a it, it can destroy monogamous relationships, obviously. Right? Okay, he's not making the point right. I think what he means is that, you know, interracial relationships has nothing to do with them. But obviously, porn like blacked porn, where they have titles like Savage Black Man Destroys White Maiden. Yeah, the, you know, that has racist tones to it. And I wonder if that's what he's trying to get at here is, you know, that the porn is sort of like blacked porn is kind of racist. The cuckoldry porn that they always have going on, the pathetic white man and the, you know, the where the black bull comes in and the porn pretends like the actors pretend like he's this different species almost. That is not wrong. If that's a point he's trying to make, it's not a crazy point. This, uh, you know, actual cuckoldresses, we can listen to that podcast too, a cuckoldress podcast. They openly say that. They openly say that they consider black people to be a different kind of human, basically. And that's what titillates them. So it's actually good that we're going over this and not misrepresenting this guy. Also, thank you, very stupid idiot. So, okay, opinion in interracial porn. Does he believe shit like blacked is racist? Or did he mean something something else? Because yes, if that is what he meant, I will agree with him. I do agree with him. The idea that, you know, the the pathetic look at the sad civilized white male in his cock kid, where's the Savage, uncivilized black man fucks like an animal. Look at this unwashed human. That is racist. Like, a lot of interracial porn is racist as fuck. If that's what he's getting at, Every, tell All us. porn is bad because all porn is designed. I mean, it, it's, it destroys intimacy. It ruins relationships. It hurts. It, it can destroy monogamous relationships, obviously, right? That's what I mean by it when I say destroying relationships, families. Um, and it's designed to program men, especially because men are visual, uh, Penguin Zone, right? Women are not as visual as men at all. That's why men are better with math, because we have a spatial sort of <laughs> mindset. Our brains are constructed <laughs> that way because we look... When we see, you see a woman with a, you know, 36, 23, 36 sort of thing, the hourglass, we go bonkers. 
and we don't really know why, but they know why, right? So, I mean, as far as men being good with math, all those numbers, all that does is confuse me. I'm so fucking bad in math. I don't know about you guys. STEM, all of it, biology, chemistry, physics, math, I've always and, and the thing will be, we know why, because we're, we're, we're supposed to mate and make more babies to keep the species going. It's like all the birds, the bees, flowers, and the trees and all that stuff, right? It's just basic uh, sexual reproduction. And um, Yeah, people use it, and I think that a lot of porn is, is kind of about that. Are being um, horribly manipulated through their media in everything. We're, we're all getting way too much information. We're getting way too much visual Playing stimulation. And why do you think depression and suicide and all these things are spiking right uh, look at the divide and conquer you know pushing men to to watch porn and then pushing women to, into ellen degenerate and oprah winfrey type things anti again with the fucking boomer wordplay ellen degenerate porn and then pushing women to, into ellen degenerate and oprah winfrey type things anti uh you know and then you've got the MGTOW and you've got the feminists the women's marches so what are the women are marching for uh penguins oh they're marching for the right to murder babies okay i'm pulling that clip uh, you know and then you've got the MGTOW and you've got the feminists the women's marches so what are the women feminists the women's march you've got the feminists you got the feminists, the women's marches. So what are the women are marching for, uh, penguins? Oh, they're marching for the right to murder babies. What the fuck does that have to do with Charlie? I know I don't really keep up with Charlie's channel, but has Charlie ever talked about murdering babies or feminist march, feminist marching? What the fuck? Murdering babies. All right, let's keep that. Clip that and take our little note here. Murdering babies. Do you know, Penguin Zo, what feminism is about? You know the thing you don't really talk about? Because I guess taking a contraceptive or, you know, having uh, your, your partner use a, a condom or something like that is too much of an inconvenience or, you know, oh, well, I might want to take that trip to Spain next summer. Um, so I want the right to murder babies. What does it have to do with Charlie? What are you talking about? I'm trying to remember if we on the official podcast have ever talked about this and I can't recall any such instance of us we dunk on feminism, sure. It's a fun gag that everyone can join in on, but what does not using contraception and marching for the right to murder babies have to do with Charlie or white t-shirts? I'm right. Um, so I want the right to murder babies, right? And um, so they're they're it's. Okay, I'm I'm pulling all of that clip. I'm adding that tail bit there. Because I really want to know. I, I have to know. What the fuck does that have to do with Charlie and his white shirts? Char Charlie or his white shirts. What am I doing? And, Let's keep going. Um, so they're... they're it's I can't explain this in a few sentences. It's not impossible, but they're they're using porn as a weapon, like they use so many other things, television and, and media, movies, video games, all these things are used to uh, dehumanize us. And uh, porn is one of the worst because it people it again, low-key kind of agree on the racist stuff. A lot of the interracial porn does seem to dehumanize black people, but you know this I don't feel like this, that's this guy's only problem with porn or I am so fucking confused. Why are we back on porn? What does <laughs> Penguin Zo? What do you know why feminists march to murder babies? Also porn. And uh, porn is one of the worst because it people it rewires people's brains it actually rewires your brain so it, it changes the way that your brain works and it train and and it makes it much more difficult for men to become aroused just with normal sort of partners that they would typically have in their lives because they need that extra sort of visual stimulation 
uh, that they get from porn. Porn also wipes out all the love and all the intimacy, all the good things, right? I'm sure if you're heterosexual, you know what I'm talking about, Penguin Zoe, when you're with the women and, you know, she brushes her hair back. and you know. Very normal. Hey, Penguin Zoe, we've all been with human females, right? You know, you, you know how it is. Of course, they, 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 they have bras, they take them off, and then there's the breast tissue underneath we've all been there right it's a common experience yeah it just happened to me yesterday huh. you know she brushes her hair back and you you can smell her sort of thing and and just that uh, just keep going. things that make you fall in love with somebody right all that is wiped out it's just <laughs> Right? It's it's just instantly sure if you're heterosexual, you know what I'm talking about, Penguin Zoe, when you're with the women and you know, she brushes her hair back and you you can smell her sort of thing and, and right? All that is wiped out. It's just uh, 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 Right? It's it's No oh, well, we're clipping that out. It's just uh, uh, <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> Right, it's right. It's all right. That's a fun clip. Morning. Doesn't even really uh, need a note. Sort of self-explanatory here. Right, it's it's just <laughs> instantly clicking on something. There's no foreplay. There's no nothing. It's just pure brutal sort of sex, gang bangs, right? And get women getting blacked. And do you want to see more interracial porn and all this? Thing. And again, all porn is bad. All porn is bad. Okay, it's all bad because it's all it, it hurts the way that people uh, function. And it, what it just, about? Porn that say you and your girlfriends or you and your boyfriends record on your own of yourselves and then you know if you ever have to be apart for a long period of time or just for fun you record it by yourselves of yourselves only and only for yourselves technically porn is a bad why if it's only porn in quotes porn of your girlfriend a video of your girlfriend say stripping for you why is that bad it's the same person that you're supposed to be attracted to. It's the only person that you're supposed to love. Still technically porn. Technically bad in his opinion. And it destroys intimacy and relationships and uh, it can really ruin people's minds. And there's a lot of people that um, are um, having trouble because of their porn addictions. And this is not... Um, ascorbic acid, whatever the fuck your name is, vitamin C. Maybe I gave him too much credit, yeah, because I did make an assumption there. He never actually explained his point why he thinks interracial porn is bad or... Yeah, I mean, he never explained his point. I kind of just gave him the benefit uh, of the doubt and played devil's advocate. So... Mm, maybe let's add an asterisk here. Uh, opinion on interracial porn. Does he believe shit like black is racist or... Okay. Seems like the note is has that caveat so we're good this is fact it's not even a, remotely a conspiracy theory so anyways continue here now this guy doesn't have to be in a shitty room just lovely i'm with a, a white sticking to vodka tonight <laughs> <laughs> jesus this guy doesn't have to be in a shitty room with a shitty setup with a, a white t-shirt on <laughs> i gotta admit i gotta admit that one's funny <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll say some silly things, too. I don't fault him for that. That was that was funny. All of us laughed. Fair enough. Charlie's setup is not the fanciest. Shit, it's me. Every day going through the same routine. Consuming his porn. Relying on lesbians, of all things. To get off. Unfortunately, this is where the history book stops. Oh. In this chapter. These are the only oh. surviving clips. The back. poor little narcissist can't get enough of his narcissistic doses. Duh. I, I hope I can get on his podcast, though. All right. So, can you guys tell me what Twitch streamers do when they have to pee really badly? Because I'm in that position right now. I'm not done 
at all or anywhere close to um, done streaming, but I really have to pee. Piss themselves, just go, go bottle. Ad break, okay, I think I can do that. So if you guys wanna, if you guys are cool with me trying that out, quick actions, let's say 60 second ad break, that should be enough. All right. I have no idea if that's working, but I'm gonna have to assume it does. Oh boy. Looks like the ad break is over. Okay, Jesus. Uh, webcam, turn on, turn this off. Hey guys. Okay, so what was that like for you guys? Was there an ad? Did I do it right? He's back, yes I am back. Yes, okay. And no ads for Subscribers, okay, I see. So I might need some content or music or video to play for people who are subscribed, if I do that again. Also, honestly, I'm gonna check how many cents I make from those ad breaks. So if it's negligible, might as well not play an ad and maybe just play a fucking video of cute kittens. I honestly don't know. All right, let's keep going then, you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll say some silly things, too. Match Holly actually has a broadcasting studio yeah. just outside that room, right next to my mind, right? Uh, you see the related channels on the side here. All yeah. your Zio Media. Mm. All your Zio Media. Zio Zio Zionist Zio. Media. God, you guys have no idea how painful it is to have to listen to myself. I hate my voice, I hate the way I speak, I hate my accent, cadence, everything, and it's... <sighs> Can we skip? Things to get Thank on. God. Unfortunately, this is where the history books stop. Oh, so this chapter, these are the only oh, surviving clips that. Oh, the poor on. little narcissist can't get enough of his narcissistic doses. Okay, this is where we left off. Unfortunately, this is all I can find. Oh, so, guys, I appreciate you, um, you know the compliments and you liking my voice, but I think you all know what I mean. If any of you have ever recorded yourselves talking into a camera or even say your voice, uh, your, sorry, your phone, and you listen back to your voice and you go, holy shit, this is what I sound to others? How do I have friends? I sound horrible. And you get self-conscious. That's how I feel a lot of the time being, you know, making a living doing a podcast is it's kind of difficult to avoid my own voice and it's, it's a pain. Oh, you poor guy. What are you going to do? I mean, seriously. You know, I've given zero thoughts to you at all. Okay. I like how he's now agitated and using his normal voice, but he sounds more stereotypically gay than the stereotypical gay voice that he was doing earlier. The, oh my God, you know, like, I'm going to pretend all gay people sound like this. And I was what are you going to do? I mean, seriously. You know, I've given zero thoughts to you at all. Oh my god. I don't give any fucks. Oh, sister. Like, how 
dare you? I can't even! Oh my god! We're clipping that one. Seriously! Do you know I've given seriously and zero thoughts to you at all since I made that video? Zero. I've not thought of you for one nanosecond. You're, you're irrelevant to me. Completely. You're just another degenerative <laughs> YouTuber pushing completely. Alright. That's a nice little end there. Um, what did we call the other one? Was it Sundere? Yeah, okay. Well, let us call this one Sundere Part 2. I don't know that emoji all you guys are using. Cup of Pride. Oh, okay. I think I get that. I, yeah. Sundere Part 2. Morning, self-explanatory. Sundere Part 2, self-explanatory. And let's keep going. How dare you? Ah, oh, I don't think about you at all. Oh You're my just god! Another degenerative <laughs> YouTuber. I also like that awkward chuckle that he does to himself, like, <laughs> like I would ever. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Me thinking about critical cock. <laughs> <laughs> pushing all the garbage. I mean, whatever. I mean, maybe you're not even whatever. Like, consciously. Oh my god! Pushing stop. Stuff. Maybe it's just what you are, right? Maybe you just came into YouTube. I don't know how long you've been on YouTube. Let's see here. Maybe he came in because some of these people, like Shelly D and stuff, they just happen to be some of the earliest. They they just happen to be on the early yeah 2007. So you know YouTube, I believe, started in 2005. So that might explain why this guy's got um, five plus million subs you think yes it might explain how this guy is you know ahead on youtube considering that he started very very early that that it's some expert deduction this guy's like uh, sherlock holmes fucking monk now he may not know this but i've lost over a dozen channels so uh, you know i had over a hundred thousand subs back in uh, 2014 so it, if Wait, i how many so, uh, you know, I had over 100,000 subs back 100, in uh, okay. 2014. So it, if I didn't lose... Don't get me wrong, guys. That's actually impressive. I'm not knocking any like small subs um, you know, small channels. I'm a fucking nobody. 100,000, if that's true, that's impressive. If I didn't lose all my channels, I'd probably be around that half a million mark right now. Not a big deal. You know, Kind of skeptical about well. that claim. But it's not really a big deal in terms of, you know, popular YouTubers and stuff like that. But it's all just a numbers game anyways. I mean, oh, this got dirty deeds. There's no way I could find out. I don't even have the Seriously? YouTube account associated <laughs> with that anymore. It's not a popularity game, in other words, or a contest or whatever. Right. So um, anyways, let's go back here. I could find that I, look I think we talk about it though, Disc on Dirty Deeds, on episode 100. If you may have listened to that one, oh, I guess so. It's about you. It would be a, at best a paraphrasing of a memory, though. Uh, never calling for genocide? What? Oh, 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 okay, sorry. I was talking over this, but let's listen closely now. This is the genocide shit, so let's see if Charlie is full of shit or is Jeff full of I could find that I looked fucking everywhere. It's a real shame because that was one of the goofiest videos I think I've ever watched. Oh, I the guess so. It's about you. A fucking weirdo. He was calling for like genocide in other videos he had. It was very not good. Uh, stuff. I've never calling for genocide. Oh. What? So Charlie claims that this dude was talking about genocide in other videos. Okay, that means not these two videos. So. I can see how both of them could be right in their own way. You know, because Jeff C, Jeff censored whatever the hell he likes to be called. He seems to be like the kind of guy who, you know, he would talk about how the white race is being replaced and it's white genocide. And, you know, if you show a video like that to someone like Charlie, obviously a, a same person is going to think, oh, okay, this guy is, you know, he thinks there's a genocide against white people going on or something. This guy's a fucking lunatic. But that's still quite different from claiming that Jeff C is calling for a genocide rather than imagining one. So let's keep going. Here. What? Seriously. Now, now you're putting your foot in your mouth several times and saying things that are absolutely untrue. I've never called for genocide. I'm not even remotely racist. I'm anti-racist. 
right? Anti-racist. Um, so you know what are you saying? Calling for genocide? <laughs> I do the opposite. I call. I tell people to you know have babies and families and do the opposite of what they want you to do. Okay, I'm gonna take note of that again. I'm gonna try to. I don't know what they call it. I believe they call it like steel man. This person's positions rather than straw man them. Gonna give them the most benefit of the doubt imaginable. So claims to, sorry, claims to call against genocide, if anything. All right, so um, that'll be interesting to talk anything. over. Calling for genocide, are you kidding? That's what they want. That's what the New World Order wants. Maybe you just saw the titles. I don't know. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Billy Nell. I remember us being in onesies. I think that was, yeah, that was when I was in America, obviously, and we streamed. I don't remember Andrew being an asshole, though. When, if that's what you're looking for, I'll have to disappoint you. In fact, Andrew was, you know, extremely nice. He was a great person when I met him in person. Never felt slighted by any of them. Stuff. So, so I, I don't want rumors like that. Action, but it's a shame that this video oh, isn't re-uploaded somewhere in all its glory because oh. it is something pretty fucking special. Yeah. Now, yeah. one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up again so many years later and kind of why I was thinking about it is just because of how... I'm kind of surprised how he hasn't mentioned Charlie's longer hair now. You'd figure that a guy like this, he'd talk about how, you know, oh, it's, it's a fucking Zionist messaging. You see, the hair is longer because the days are longer now because fucking Satan is controlling the earth. How popular conspiracy theories Ah, oh, that, ah, oh, ding, 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 Oh, here we go. Here's the reason. Ah, oh, that, ah, oh, ding, 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 ding. I'm taking that and I might keep that on my uh, soundboard permanently. That seems like... Perfect. Ding 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 ding. Oh, here we go. Here's the reason. What? Ding 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 ding. I'll use that every time I have to be condescending and explain something to anyone. Mansplain. Ding 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 ding. All right. I should have made a compilation of like this and the fucking moaning. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, here we go. Here's the reason. Because <laughs> conspiracy theories are so pop. Ah, are you shilling, dude? Like, are you seriously shilling? Did Susan for contact who? you? Did Susan contact you? I can personally vouch that we're not on good terms with YouTube. Susan did not contact us. We're always uh, scared of YouTube. We don't like YouTube. Charlie doesn't like YouTube or Susan or how things are run. We're not. I wish, Jeff. I wish. I wish that behind the scenes, you know, us and Susan were fucking buddy buddy. It's a distant dream. Right? Did you go down in the stable and talk to Susan? Like, what's I going wish. on here? Because <laughs> RFB just got taken down. Um, a whole bunch of other channels have been ripped down. My main channel was hit multiple times. I also like how these guys always think that, you know, they are nobodies. This RFB person, if it's the person we just found with the Google search. Dude, you have like five subscribers. Google taking you down is not a big deal. You're not the center of the universe right now. Right? He makes it out to be as if he's at the in the center of this fucking conspiracy theory that YouTube is out to get people like him as a well they took me down. And RFB. Obviously YouTube is conspiring. Dude, you're a blip. You're nothing. You're less than a blip. You're you're statistically zero. If your channel got banned, it's because an algorithm caught you, not even a real person. Susan isn't fucking sitting there talking about Jeff C. Alright? Susan have uh, Susan has bigger fucking fish to fry. She probably has bigger fish to fry than, than even Charlie. And so a lot of uh, YouTubers are losing. TMF lost the channel. I mean, oh, oh, the, the list is endless. Max Egan, all these people have, have gone down. Who? Oh, oh the, the list is endless. Max Egan, all these people have, have gone down Never over really. and over again. Red Elephants, apparently, a whole bunch of them. Who? Hey. <laughs> what the fuck is Red Elephants? What are you talking about? Again... You know what this reminds me of? You know those fucking annoying people who will tell you a story and they will name drop 
people that they know as if you know them. Like you'll be talking to someone you just met and uh, they will tell you a story like, oh yeah, you know, and we went to the movie theater with Jeffrey and then like his girlfriend, Jessica, she was like, like Jessica said that, you know, he doesn't like Ashley. Why doesn't she like Ashley though? I mean, Ashley has never done anything wrong to me. Like, do you think she has? And all the while you're sitting there like, who, who the fuck is Ashley? Who's Jeffrey? What the fuck are you talking about? Stop name dropping people. Stop using characters without introducing them in your story. Okay, this sucks. And that's what this guy's doing right now. Is, oh, Red Herring got banned, and so did JRFB and JFK and RFB. I mean, you guys know them, right? They all got banned. No, who the fuck are you talking about? Red Elephant. Red Elephant Rentals? What the fuck? Sorry, this is a tangent. That was, that's a, that was a weird uh, suggestion by the search engine. Red Elephant YouTube. On that note, let's put this to dark mode. Thank you. Bread moisturizer. Um, oh, wow. Red Elephant, that could terminate it. Red moist, uh, bread moisturizer. Sorry. He said he would, so... All I can tell you is that he promised, but I'm not putting a, a guarantee on that one. And now we have Penguinzo coming after me, and then the reason why he's doing this is because conspiracy theories now. <laughs> I guess with the scamdemic, right? The infodemic and everything that's going on. So many years later, and kind of why I was thinking about it is just because of how popular conspiracy theories have become. And one thing that I was doing recently, and I've talked about it on the streams I've been doing, I've made my own conspiracy theory that I've been trying to spread throughout Facebook. But it's really fucking hard, because to create your own conspiracy theory, it's like fucking Ouroboros. You have to keep eating your own tail. Mm. You have to keep constantly supplying... Should, the you should listen to Dick's Rectum Jammer 666. He likes the worm Ouroboros. What? Supplying should, the you should listen to Dick's Rectum Jammer 666. He yeah, gee, it's, it's, it's such a shocker you guys are getting banned with names like that. Dix Rectum Jammer. Is this a meme? Am I falling for a fucking boomer meme right now? Oh. I assume he meant Sticks Hexenhammer 666, and this was yet another, another boomer wordplay dunk. Clever. I don't know who this person is. Fuck me. All right, back to back to work. Listen to Dick's Rectum Jammer six six six. He likes the worm or your Boris. Shit. The worm. Memes enforcing the conspiracy theory, so that way old people keep buying it, and you just have to go. Thank you, Murder Berry. Cycle of like producing thousands of memes per month. Con I'll take that one buck and convert it into a shot in a second for you. That we all knew that, but it's just so hard to keep up with that demand. The conspiracy theory that I've been developing and trying to spread and really make catch fire is trying to scare people off of the internet. One sec is mine. Babe? Oh. Sorry, I thought I heard someone rummaging in the kitchen. Must be the I thought it would be fun to take the whole 5G hysteria and transfer that to the internet itself because, you know, 5G is a villain. Why wouldn't the internet be a villain? What I wanted to do... It is. is. <laughs> it is. But it's a tool, it's a technology, it's a double-edged sword. So um, they gave it to us so that they could monitor all of us. It's all developed. I wish big bro Joe. The, um, the internet was designed to collect all your data. So uh, America Online, we'll see, we'll just show you this. Cause you know, eh? Oh, are we getting into him Googling again? We're about halfway through this, by the way, you guys. A crazy conspiracy a o l shout out to Civil. all of us for making it this far by the way right crazy conspiracy theorists crazy 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 uh. stuff all over the place so america Online, which was the first and then we go back and we see the freemasonic symbolism right <laughs> how about this one what? uh penguins oh we'll put in uh, wait, wait, wait. uh what would we say there's so many a o l symbol Right, crazy conspiracy I agree, Jer theorists, Jeremy. crazy, crazy, seeing triangles and all this stuff all over the place. It's a triangle. 
Why is a triangle such a fixation for these guys? A triangle is the most basic bitch of all polygons. It's literally the first polygon you can make with three points. That's just what it does. So it's like the simplest fucking shit. So it has an area. Line, which was the first, and then we go back and we see the Freemasonic symbol. Okay, we... <laughs> I'm fascinated how this man's... Like, he can talk and say speak two sentences and neither one of those sentences has anything to do with the uh with the other one so what does this thing have to do with a triangle this isn't a triangle symbolism right <laughs> how about this one uh penguin zo we'll put in uh, uh am i a triangle so bgl i don't know we'll say uh, are google, we all triangles uh, uh play uh, how are satanic. polygons real if vertices aren't real Oh, it's just do you have area edges? Area. How many edges? How many edges make a pentagram? Google Play. Maybe that's a conspiracy. You Think about say, it. Uh, Google, for instance, all of these have these symbols here. The Mason. I mean, look at the Gmail logo right there. That's a it's an envelope shape, a rectangle, not an equilateral rectangle. You know, if you look photos of the Twin Towers, each tower kind of is like an elongated rectangle, isn't it? Gmail, 911. Coincidence? I'll let you guys decide. I'm rectangle. Why are skyscrapers shaped like rectangles? Unless someone can explain in the chat, I'll assume Jeff's Sonic, here. right? This is the Android product store, Apple product store. There's your Masonic symbolism, right? And you have the Mason, the M, on the, the M. Mm. You have the same mm. symbols over here. Here you have the triple six, 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 six. six a, not not only the six, six, six. There's something far more insidious here, you guys. If you look at the Google Chrome logo here, it kind of looks like a Sharingan. Is Sasuke behind this? What is going on? What's happening? Google Play, of course. It's all over. Mm. Mm. The <laughs> the New World Order runs all your media. That's all. Mm. They run the internet. www dot right. The whole thing is part of their sort of um, occultish New World Order. This man makes so many claims. He always gives you the lead up, but never the punchline. It's always just a setup. Never the punchline. Never the explanation. It's so you guys, have you seen www dot? I mean, you can see what it means, right? No, I can't explain it. What do you mean? Okay, what what does www dot mean? What? Explain it. Don't just assume we know, but we're in denial. Actually, explain your points. You these symbols Baby, everywhere. don't walk on my keyboard. Right. Eh. It's not conspiracy theories. It's just oh, fact. Look at this baby. It just is what it is. Oh. So, anyways, we're over here. Oh. Use the same pseudoscience they use for 5G and translate it to the internet itself. The mic, so that way, when people are reading this shit on Facebook where they think they're safe, bang! All of a sudden, now they're breaking out in the cold sweats, looking at my oh. memes, talking about how terrible the internet is, using all kinds of bogus pseudoscience. Mm. I thought it was a great fucking idea. Mm. You know, like it's something straight out of Marvel's new superheroes with Snowflake and Safe Space and the guy who's poisoned by internet gas. I thought that would be fucking fantastic to make them afraid of the invisible internet gas. But it okay. takes so much effort Go to play. make a conspiracy theory and have it catch on. Daddy's that it, busy. It's absolutely shocked me. And I can't really keep up with the demand, so I don't do it much anymore. I just wanted to share that because I was thinking about it. Yeah, and all right, man. I made on it. Mm -hmm. And then it reminded me of all of this, and I wanted to find the video again, but I fucking nah, couldn't find it. So relive, relive Carter, that that's, moment. that's always been my point. <laughs> just can't, can't get it. Why would a secret it. society... So let me pause. Why would a secret society plaster its supposedly secret logo all over the place. Isn't that the point of a secret handshake, let's say, that it's a secret? Isn't that the whole point, that only a select few know? If you had a secret handshake or a secret logo, secret slogan, a password, you wouldn't really put it on a billboard, would you? And it's like saying if, you know, people sharing their passwords. Why? Why would they do that? And, okay, Witty, if you say it's to taunt us, then... I guess fair enough, but any secretive society 
actually serious about trying to s stay secretive wouldn't taunt us. I don't blame you though, dude. I mean, seriously. It's probably the seriously. most exciting thing that's happened in your YouTube career. I don't know, maybe! I mean, like three years later or something, you're, you're, you're obsessed with trying to find it. You're spending hours and hours trying to track it down, trying to look for thumbnails. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't spend... I mean, I haven't spent the amount of time that I'm doing this, so, you know, I don't want to be hypocritical, but I mean, come on, seriously, I wouldn't spend five minutes of Yeah, I wouldn't be a hypocrite. I really don't Only spent damn. an hour on this fucking video so far. But I will come on your show. Why would I come on your show? Because maybe uh, we can plant a few seeds and maybe, maybe, Penguin Zoe, maybe there's some misunderstandings. Maybe you, you need to have a little bit of education about what is actually going on or maybe you would benefit and your co-host uh, and would benefit from hearing a different perspective as long as you don't come in with tunnel vision and you know the the hands over your ears sort of thing and you're just not going to listen but if you were to listen to me and maybe some of your listeners you'd actually realize i'm actually a very nice guy and and i don't mean any of this personally when i'm coming after uh, people like when i'm exposing people it's not a personal thing it's because you're putting stuff up on the internet so when you put up stuff on the internet millions of people are watching um you're open season just like i'm open season people can come after and people have come after my videos many times before so it's no big deal Right. Okay. So far, all of that is very fair, and I do think that there's there seems to have been some misunderstanding here, because at this point, I've not heard this guy call for any genocides. It's he has a problem with Zionists at the very least, if not Jewish people, but he doesn't sound like he has anything racially going on or a racial bias or racial hatred or anything like that. He just has a hang-up about... This guy just sounds like a regular conspiracy theorist who got butt hurt because someone just made fun of him. That's basically it. He doesn't sound like a terrible, mean, evil person, you know, going around hurting others or just wishing ill on them. He sounds... I don't know. We'll see, I guess, Jeff. But I'm also down to... Uh, have my mind opened right when we post stuff on the internet that's what happens sort of thing so um but yeah you should try i may arrange to get you again though i i still want to know what does charlie have to do with freemasonry symbolism what does charlie have to do with a triangle get me on your podcast or you can come on my podcast if you want and we'll have a discussion and you have yes. a podcast? Hang on, hang on. Uh, sorry. This is Charlie's channel. We did say that he was streaming something. I don't know if that was his actual podcast, though. Wait. Yeah, that was two weeks ago. Game of Thrones podcast. What? Is this guy a regular fucking ass mindless consumer? He makes a Game of Thrones podcast? How are you this much against the media? And the the evil Jews influencing the media and everything and the you know the fucking mainstream media and fake news and then you sit down and watch one of the most basic bitch, most mainstream, the most popular show on TV and make a podcast around it. How the fuck does that happen? Okay, I want to ask him about the podcast. Ask about his podcast. Why does he watch... I don't even know how to describe generic Hollywood content. If it's all evil programming. Like, how do you watch Game of Thrones and not think it's just a bunch of uh, sexual propaganda? Uh, maybe is that the point? He talks about it being evil? Yeah, don't go. Say, uh, yeah, it's a good time to get out of there. <laughs> uh, Ned Stark. And... It's it, creepy as hell. Yeah, this... Okay, this is boring. Let's continue. Civil discussion? Right? We don't have to be, uh, uh, just, you know, that's uh, childish, a good idea. <laughs> childish or anything. We could, 
s discuss this stuff and you could talk about the issues that you have a problem with or you know some of the things that maybe I said that pissed you off and I can explain why I said those things kind of like, like what I've done hopefully with this video and uh, maybe your listeners then might benefit from that and uh, potentially you yourself might benefit from it so I'll unless of course you're part of some operation potentially now targeting conspiracy theories because of the scamdemic that's going on and that they're trying to clear us all off the platform and i don't know i mean it's potential i don't really bright know moisturizer if you want peppers for episode 200 or literally an episode tell all the guys except me i'm always down i literally grew my own carolina reaper plants man I'm down for it. The guys are the one. All the other three guys are the ones bitching out, specifically Charlie, or you know, especially Charlie. So, uh, channels. Je Jesus, holy shit! This guy's a lot of. Just censored. Just censored. Encore. Jeff C. Life. Really graceful. Is this a lady conspiracy theorist? Let's check it out real quick. I'm just a fake silhouette. Hmm. Is this person uploading the exact same videos as Jeff C? Is this Jeff C's alter ego? Connecting the past to the present. Videos are always highly sourced with sources pinned at the top comment. Okay, I might look into this later because this I don't I want to keep listening for now. Whoops. Uh, let me check on the chat here real quick, guys. If I miss your messages, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to listen to a 50-minute conspiracy theorist and read every single message. Do you think you'll be able to actually ask him about all these things? Uh, I hope so, Feet. I'll try. I'll tell you that much. That's the easiest excuse to invalidate people. Being part of an operation, can you watch Doomsday Preppers? That intro, to be fair, Charlie looks like he's on the verge of fainting when he's eating anything hotter than a jalapeno. Yeah. Again, though, 7125. Uh, Tell him that. Or, you know, make fun of him on his... Uh, whatever avenues you can reach him at. I'm already on you guys' side. If the boys are down, I will get a Carolina Reaper this second. On? I'm down. Um... I can only, you know, just, you know, <laughs> take the information as it comes in and try to process it. But there's so many layers of deception on just on YouTube alone, this platform alone that um, uh, are happening. Anyways, is anything else you said here? I kind of wanted to talk about all of it. Also, feel free if you want to run with that conspiracy to scare people uh, away from the Internet, go wild. That's totally I didn't see that last wish. Copyrighted my conspiracy theory. I'm not trying to start like a cult with it or anything. I just thought it'd be really enjoyable if there was this. Bauer Power, if you join the official podcast Patreon, it'll join you to our Patreon Discord immediately. Instantly. As soon as you link, yeah, you just have to go into your. Never, ever, ever, ever. Let me pause for a second and rewind a little. Um, all you have to do is go into your Patreon account settings and link your Discord account, and it will automatically join you into our server within seconds and then. Um, like I said, tomorrow we have an episode recording and then on Sunday we have one, hopefully with Jeff C over here and you can listen live. Also feel free if you want to run with that conspiracy to scare people uh, away from the internet, go wild, that's totally fine by me. It's not like I've copyrighted my conspiracy theory. I'm not trying to start like a cult with it or anything. I just thought it'd be really enjoyable if there was this mass exodus of anti-vax soccer moms and old dumb assholes that all of a sudden now the one thing they were trusting Facebook is turned against them and now they're just super fucking... Yeah, people. at Facebook you should never, ever, 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 ever trust. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why do you think you use your face to open a phone? What do you think's going on? Look at the scamdemic that they're doing. They're taking away all your rights. And then they're, they're developing technology to monitor everyone. They're sticking in facial recognition. They're, they're doing mass detection. They're going to make people go through portals to get a loaf of bread. They're, they're doing, they're going to force mass what? inoculation. Wait, wait, they want to uh, give everyone portals to get a loaf. They're, they're doing mass detection. They're going to make people go through portals to get a loaf of bread. They're, they're doing portals to get a loaf. People go through portal detection. They're going to make people going to make people I might want to, I'm, I think I'd like an explanation for what the fuck he, he they're going to make people go through portals to get a loaf of bread. They're, 
that sounds uh go through portals to get get a loaf of bread is that a thing I assume that this this must be some sort of an obscure article or news event that he's referencing but because he's Jeff C he never actually explains any of his references or any of the points he makes he just sets up the points but never explains it bread they're they're doing they're gonna force mass inoculations they want to uh, give everyone on the planet these vaccines and they want to make it a normal thing god only knows what of course they've got in these vaccines of course we do cover that a lot on jeff censor or jeff c live with uh camille so even Zoe, even like he doesn't fucking sense. know what channel he's on anymore he he can't fucking keep it straight i'm on jeff c censor supreme lord but uh, one of one of my 17 God only knows what, of course, they've got in these vaccines. Of course, we do cover that a lot on Jeff Censor or Jeff C Live with uh, Camille. So, Penguin Zoe, you might want to go and check. Basically, like I said, I, I actually, I feel like I heard a slight Canadian, Canadian accent from the sky. They're actually doing with those. Those. So that you know, and again, most of what I do is not what about a conspiracy, deuce? Is conspiracy. Because, like, what I typically do is I watch the mainstream media and then I expose it for what it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm manufacturing conspiracy theories and, and you know, no. throwing them out like you're talking about here. Um, I mm. just explain what they're up to and what they're trying to do. It's a whole mm. transformation of our world. Agenda 2030, Agenda 21, what the New World Order, the globalists who run this planet... The major power players, you know a lot of them, Bill Gates, for instance, right? Jeffrey Bezos, Elon Musk, Henry Kissinger, Ted Turner, right? All these massive globalists who are plotting out what is going to happen to the rest of the world, what's happening to the rest of us, how they're going to cull the herd and massively depopulate us. So I try to explain through the media and the stories what they're actually up to sort of thing. So. I might want to pull this clip too, but... That doesn't make sense to me. If you were an overlord, why would you want to call the herd, really? I mean, if you're a farmer, wouldn't you want more farm animals? As long as you can't feed them all, which at this point... Oh, what is... I, it's not like, like people are starving by the millions in the West. Henry Kissinger, Ted Turner, the major power players. You know a lot of them. Bill Gates, for instance, right? Jeffrey Bezos, Elon Musk, Henry Kissinger, Ted Turner, right? All these massive globalists who are plotting out what is going to happen to the rest of the world, what's happening to the rest of us, how they're going to cull the herd and massively depopulate us. So I try to explain through the media and the stories what they're actually up to sort of thing. So I try to explain depopulate us. So I let's take that and call it call the herd. Hold the herd. All right. Okay. Let's make a little note here. And Jesus, do we really take this many clips? Why? How? What do you mean? <laughs> All right. Gonna call the herd. We're almost at the end, you guys. Depopulate us. So, I try to explain through the media and the stories. Yeah, Matt Mullen, I know you're right. Sort of I need to prioritize a the, lot of this. Uh, Wi-Fi signals and run away or something like it's, you know, Voldemort's come into town. I just thought that would be a really fun uh, conspiracy. This is far story. less about Charlie than I thought it would look be. look up the 60 gigahertz and the effects and, of course, the Russian development of um, microwaves and the 60 gigahertz using that frequency to actually alter people's, you know, molecules in their body i mean it's really really crazy stuff i'm not here to endorse that um the 5g uh uh is causing the covid i think the covid is is mostly just bunk right for the most part and that there might be something that's going around but it's not anywhere near as bad as they say it is and they're using that to take away all our rights um but the 5g is being laid out you know, by the way, Trump said he's going to use Operation Warp Speed to deliver the vaccines and that his military was going to be used to deliver the vaccines in a very powerful manner. These are direct quotes that Donald Trump said. Um, also, who cares? 
The man says so much fucking shit. Why is that a specific quote that he zoomed in on? Is that a vaccine is gonna be delivered at what power the the force? In a very powerful manner. It's in a very part because that's just how Trump talks, dude. It doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean that Trump is not gonna send the fucking troops into your house to hold you down and force a vaccine into your arm. That's just how he is. You ask the motherfucker, he's gonna tell you it's the most magnificent vaccine ever created and the best deal ever. And then two days later, he's gonna fire the guy who made the vaccine. Very Here he is. Powerful. It means nothing. These are direct quotes that Donald Trump said. Um, also, while Alrighty then, Trump no, I'm just is, pulling clips. Uh, doing that, he also signed two bills earlier this year, I think it was back in February, in which uh, they plotted out the entire layout for the 5G network right across the United States, that they're going to have 5G rolled out within, how short was it? I think eight months or something like that. They're going to lay out the entire grid right across the United States, and they were going to hit the rural areas as well. And it's not that, like, yeah, for hang on, with 5G, me rolled out within how short was it I think eight months or something yeah eight months I'm sure a telecommunications company especially an ISP an internet company they're gonna get anything done in eight months yeah that'll happen across an entire country hmm short was it I think mm. eight months or something like that they're gonna lay out the entire grid right across the United States mm, yeah they will the yeah, yeah. areas as well and it's not that, like, for instance, with 5G, yes, you know, it'll give you faster internet. That's not a question. But the question is, what else is it doing? And potentially, what can it do? And that's where it's not no longer a conspiracy. That's why you have to do your research on this stuff, on the effects of EMF radiation and microwaves and how the British government, the Soviet government, or the, now the Russian government, and of course the United States and others have done massive amounts of studies into how EMF frequencies affect people's bodily health and everything else. So it, there's, it's, you know, that they'll throw it out because they want you to think that people are crazy to question this stuff, but you should question this stuff. I wonder what the, stuff looks sinister just enough. what kind of I mean, crazy shit these people are going to come up with when with these it's time to release 60 dishes on them and everything else. I mean, that, that should make you aware. You should be like, well, I better make sure if my kids are going to that school, I better make sure. I'm not, again, I'm not here to say, yeah, it's going to fry you or something like that, but potentially it could be used it potentially could have long-term effects could be a slow kill sort of thing anyways um anything else just to see what would happen the one place they were calling home the internet has now betrayed them you know i just thought it was a, a fun idea it's just really fucking hard a lot more work than i thought it would be to get a conspiracy just, just no i can't so, and i don't think any other woman could either and that's really just about it so yeah all right, there he is. Okay, ago, so uh, just go to his channel here. Plot cake, I wish I could pin that just again. To see uh, what does he got here? Uh, you, just to see the type of content. He's got this thing, Moist Meter. You could say MM3 <gasps> here. Oh. Whatever. Maybe he just came up with it. Moist Meter. <laughs> and he covers video games and Programming. movies and stuff on that. SpongeBob SquarePants. Japanese. Okay, I have to, if I have to prioritize all of this shit, it has to be, it has to be about all the shit that he's brought about, uh, brought up about Charlie specifically, but never actually explained, right? So before I ask him about his fucking podcast, I have to get to what, what the fuck has, do white shirts have to do with, uh, porn? What does a white shirt have to do with porn or triangles? That's what I want to know. Japanese. I need that answer. Um, so you just see the type of content that he has. He has this official podcast, I guess that's what it's called. Yes, thank you. Anyways, just kind of par for the course uh, type of YouTubers. He doesn't have any channels anymore. Maybe he had channels back when I covered it. This is his I channel. I think this guy is all that bad compared to some of the other ones out there. Uh, he's yeah. certainly not nearly as bad as, say, Shane Dawson or even Puke Dai Pai um, or Hannah Puke Hart Dai or, Pai. You know, Puke um, Dai Pai, sorry. Or Josepha or <laughs> these Good pun. Ones. And then he's got Netflix is Disgusting. Interesting, because I covered Netflix is Disgusting. In fact, that's one of the things that's been going on with the Netflix, the cuties, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about the sexualization. So when I'm talking about the... Um, 
about the uh, um, horrible pornography and pushing this and normalizing it and getting kids to partake in it, of course, sexualizing children. Um, this all comes into play, what they're doing with these 11-year-old girls in this Netflix cuties thing, right? Where they're getting them to do flash dances and stuff up on stage and be highly sexualized and act like adults. Yeah, but Here in Rainbow Unicorn Land, we had the... Uh, something we can Alberta agree on, yes. Uh, guy, this is just normal stuff that comes out all the time. So they had this uh, penguin though. They had this sex guide here. Why is he? I like how also he addresses Charlie directly in this video, constantly, as if Charlie had said anything about the Alberta sex ed guide animals. I'm gonna open the story here. Why are you addressing him? Health uh, manager, sorry for giving BC kids uh, graphic sex guide. And they gave this safe sex guide in which they used animals and insects and stuff to uh, get kids Me too, to experiment Pacey. with sexuality. Anal beads. Like, this was given to 11-year-olds. Really? Um, well, if this uh, happened, anal that's sex, uh, that's water sports, fucked up, actually. Fisting, pissing. Not only that, but also experimenting with crystal meth. Now, mm. seriously. Again, okay, so I don't know about this story. He might be right. Again, going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he's not just lying uh, about this particular new story in this children's coloring book or whatever the fuck it is. Why address Charlie about this again? So, Penguin Zoe, what do you have to say about this, huh? Caught you red-handed. See? Seriously. Would you would you think that, you know, little kids should be encouraged to do all this stuff? This actually, Did this say that? actually happening. It's actually, they're actually doing this stuff. So he went on Charlie's channel, saw Charlie rip on the cuties movie, and now he's asking him, hey, so you're okay with this sort of stuff? Jeff, what are you doing? How does this make sense? What are you rambling about? Clearly, none of us are okay with this. Why are you asking? It's actually, they're actually doing this stuff um, to kids, right? And it's out of this world, really. Um, so, you know, it's just a slice of so many different things that are, are happening right at the same time. The sexualization of Thurmer. children is all around you. The pornography is all around you, right? The degeneracy is all around you. LGBT, the pride, right? It's all around you. You see it, it's pushed everywhere, the rainbow sort of thing. So it, it's rainbow really unicorn quite new world order. It's much more insidious than perhaps it appears. And um, it is targeting children. So uh, I hope you understand why I do the work that I do. Fucking Anyways, mind it's nothing control. personal. Uh, Penguin Zoe. And if you want to uh, discuss this uh, in a civil discussion sort of thing, a podcast, yes. I would be uh, on board to do so. So just okay. let me know maybe in the comments below or maybe hit me up on Twitter at Free Radio Revolu. Could be a good discussion. Maybe you guys would learn a few things. Maybe if you guys had a discussion with me, you might think, well, he's not really crazy. He's maybe I don't agree with everything he says, but he does have some points. And that would be good because that's all i hope to do is to be fair to that's think. where i am at this point i do th well i don't think he's crazy and i don't think he has even some good points maybe he might have a good point maybe one if we're really gonna be generous uh, generous he might have a point and a half but that's about it to do is get people to start thinking about what's going on because if you start thinking you start using your brain instead of just stabbing it with a fork and jerking off the tranny porn uh you might oh. actually start to do something oh uh, you can't use that word on channel. twitch my channel's <laughs> fucked now <laughs> I mean, anyways i have nothing against humor if, if you do comedy uh -oh. that's great anyways uh i hope you guys are all having a great weekend and uh yeah maybe if you can send this video to penguin zo i'm sure he'll find it and uh, yeah, maybe we'll have a discussion. If not, whatever. We'll just leave it at that. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to me. If you do okay. like my work, please do come and support me on Patreon. And uh, yeah, um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. How are you familiar with Penguin Zoe? Have you ever seen his videos before? Is there anything you would like to share? I've heard about him. So put it in the comments below because he's going to read those comments.
So no, he's you've not. got things you want to say. I know Penguin Zoe, and he's not going to read those comments. You know, trust out, me. You know, Event Two Hundred One, <laughs> Clay Dex, right? Uh, check out this. Check out um, all these different things that they've uh, documents and whatnot that they've that are readily available for people that show the Agenda Twenty One, for instance, Agenda Twenty Thirty, the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, all these different things. Because most of these people are completely clueless about what's actually going on. Right? They, they think their media is actually real. <laughs> Anyways, all the best. See you guys all in the next one. Take it easy, folks. Let me take it easy too, Jeff. Talk to you. Talk to you soon. Uh, New World Order is not a real document. Well, that's just what the New World Order would want you to believe. Okay. Well, we pulled a bunch of clips, you guys. Let's see. Quite a few. Okay. I don't think I should or even would have the time to play all of these, but it's good to have them on hand just in case I want to, you know, um, just remind him of the words that he himself spoke. And we have a few funny clips here or there. Okay, I'm gonna go take a quick bathroom break again. Now I know how to play advertising and then I'll decide if I'm, if I have any energy to continue because I think we've been going for quite a while now. Mm, over three hours, yeah. Might be tired. Okay, see you guys in a sec. If nothing else, to say goodbye. Be right back. Mm. <laughs> Six ads, that sucks. All right. And I'm back, you guys. Um, okay, you know what? I think getting up made me realize that I am quite tired. So, I think I'll uh, oh, end it here tonight. And in my defense, it is almost 5 a.m. here where I live in Germany. So, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned to see how this goes with Jeff this Sunday. If you're a patron, you can listen live or else stay tuned to the official podcast episode release. Yeah, guys, thanks for doing this with me and suffering through three hours of this motherfucker. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>